guys. Welcome to Four Player Podcast. This is episode 450. That's a big number. Yes. Uh, I'm Nolan Hestrom. I'm hosting tonight in place of Nick Henderson, who is out on maternity leave. Is maternity, that right? I, maternity. Yeah, Nolan, that sounds about right. Yeah. Have you ever listened to one of Nick's intros? He he cuts them to where there's like some funny joke or banter that leads into it. It's actually kind of classy. Nick's favorite word. I, I don't I don't think I've listened to a podcast in several That's years. That's what I'm saying. You, you, I, you I listened to one recently and I was kind of impressed. I was like, yeah. Well, yeah. Nick, the, way, the way he cuts that Nick up, does a good, good job. It's a good good, after, good amount of production. After 450 value. episodes, he's figured it out. I'm uh, saying we have no like awkward saying that led us into the start of the podcast. Uh, how about them podcast videos though? Do you even watch those? Oh yeah, Chris Davis you care? is here. <laughs> hey, Chris. Well, the, 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 the only problem with you interrupting me, Brad, did you me, know Brad, he made the refactor trailer? Is the the the, <laughs> the first thing you're supposed to do on any podcast is introduce all the people on it, right? Yeah, I'm with, here. Within the no, you're not. Within the first. Who is even seconds. I? So anyway, we're joined tonight in the in the place of Nick Henderson, who is out by Chris Davis, our resident videographer, and that, and that works for me. Trailer maker. Yep. Uh, Brad Simons, yep. our uh, hentai dub voice actor. That's true. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Christopher Guthridge, uh, purveyor mm-hmm. of all things comics and geek. Oh, uh, look yeah. who's in chat. I, I've never even played a video game. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just thinking about it because I was like, what is everyone like? I was thinking about it and like, like if, if we ever want a video made, we go to Chris Davis. If we ever want like, like uh, Photoshop. You know, you go to Nick. If, if you, you ever, ever want to get in an argument about the Flash, you're going to make Yeah. <laughs> if you, 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 you know, Brad knows the most about video games out of all of us. And I was thinking about me, and I'm like, what the fuck am I? Dude, you're I'm like nothing. You're, you're the guy to go together. to for our community. I get, I, dude, I see, I just, I was thinking about it, and I'm you're like. You're the dude that makes all our Google Docs. I, <laughs> dude, That's I'm true, the, I'm yes. the fucking, mas- like, jack of all trades, master of none. Like, I'm not good at anything. I'm just okay at a lot of things. That's, that's you're, you're good at couch co-op games. You're I, that's the thing, is I'm not. Like, I'm not the, any game that we play co-op, usually someone actually ends up being better than me at it. You're a producer, Nolan. Mm-hmm. I guess so. You wear many hats. I do. No, I actually only wear this hat lately. This is my favorite hat. As for this hat from both Bernadette and my mom for Christmas last year, we both got it. For neither me. of them got it for me, so I Those went out and bought it bitches. myself. <laughs> I went out and bought it myself, and now Were you every- expecting the hat? Yeah. Because, like, that's the thing is, I always <laughs> ask them yeah, for no, hats. So you, open, you opened all your gifts, and you're like, oh, so. Uh, Where's the other one? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Dude, like, I always ask for things. Like, and the thing is, my, my older sister, she gets me. I asked her for a pair of shoes, and she got me those shoes. Now, every time I put on those shoes, I'm like, thanks, Lindley. You got me these shoes. Yeah. And then every time I put on this hat, I'm like, thanks, me. <laughs> for getting me the hat I wanted. I'm really All glad right. I bought that thing I like. <laughs> Who do you think every time you turn on your Xbox? Uh, no one, because I, I never turned it on. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's not even plugged in oh, right now. No. <laughs> oh. Dude, I, there, I'm sure at one point there will be a game in which I want to play on. Alan Quant- Wake uh, Time Cop. Quant- Quantum, I I Quant- the Quantum name Mechanics right. is coming up soon. I always Next forget week. the name. Alan uh, Wake Time Cop. <laughs> I, would, I would so much rather play a game called Alan Wake Time Cop than Cock. <laughs> well, you would rather play the Time Cock. <laughs> I'm sure Nick would like that. The Alan Wake Time Cock. Anyway, moving on. Uh, any uh, so the the big the big thing that happened since our last podcast was was Batman Bombing. versus Superman. We saw that the dawn of um, justice. Of, justice. Of, you justice. could call it that, I guess. Uh, I guess I didn't realize for the longest time that it was dawn of justice, as in the Justice League. Dude, what did you think yeah. it was? I don't know. I, I I really don't. Oh, you didn't see the connection between. I mean, I, I, I wasn't, like, super following the movie before it came uh, out. Like, I didn't know anything going into it, which I kind of tried to keep that way because I didn't want to get... I, I was going in with lower expectations because I personally... I, I'm probably the person on the podcast who liked Man of Steel the least. And so I definitely I'm went in... I'm sure I liked it the least because yeah. I had not seen it. Okay. Well, I went in Still. with very low expectations. And thankfully, since I did, I think I enjoyed the movie more. Just because yeah. I was expecting nothing. Yeah, yeah. This movie doesn't really sucker punch you the way that Man of Steel does. Yeah, mm-hmm. sucker punch. Oh yeah. Oh my God, that <laughs> fucking guy has a horrible career, doesn't he? Yeah, that's right. He, he did do sucker yeah. punch. Yeah, wow. he does. Uh, because you're kind of like, oh, Zack Snyder. Okay, I guess it's gonna be Maybe. really loud and explodey. Maybe he's just cheap. Maybe that's the reason. That movie did not seem that cheap at all. That movie was like a four hundred million dollar. Yeah. I'm talking about the director. Maybe he takes like fifty bucks and you know free lunch. Maybe that's it. Like, oh, maybe he doesn't ask for working, much money? Like, he works for cheap? I think yeah. it's because DC and 
Warner Brothers, right, mm-hmm. has struggled to find talent that's willing to direct these movies. Maybe. Dude, they have they have talent in spades when it comes to like their animated division. Like Very there's much. so many people who work for them already who the, make good the, movies. Yeah. I, I don't know if I've seen an animated But they like, don't want to give any of them the keys to like the big I don't I don't think I've seen an animated movie where I was like, that was shitty. Like there are definitely some out there that aren't the best. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. Like I was not a fan. What is the new one with the, the Batman uh, uh Son of Batman no, or Batman after that, versus Ron? Bad Blood? At, bad Blood. Bad Blood. Bad Blood was Batman. really meh. It was it really? was it was okay. Uh, but is that it, supposed to be a sequel to Batman vs. Robin? And no. Batman and anyway, off topic. Off topic. Yeah, so, so that was definitely That's a movie silly. that was not the best, but it was still pretty good. Okay. Whereas, like, almost all of the DC movies have been like, yeah, okay. in my opinion. Green Lantern. Uh, I will say in my opinion. <clears throat> yeah. All the live action ones. Are. Yeah, correct. Well, since... Uh, Dark Knight. I still think Dark Knight was a fine movie. Dude, I don't. I don't think there are many people out there who would argue with you that Dark Knight's a bad movie. No, there's a lot of people who would. Well, I don't but, think there's yeah. a lot of Wait, correct Dark people. Dark Knight. Yeah, the Dark Knight. The Batman movie. Oh my God! Yes, Brad. Christopher Nolan. Yeah. I thought everyone loved. No, that movie. the the fucking Martin Lawrence movie. <laughs> Black Knight. No, I was, <laughs> dude, I was watching. I that. was confused. Hold on. I swear to fucking God, on Sunday or Saturday before I, Bernard and I went out, I was watching that on TV. Martin Lawrence. Yes, it was on TV, and I was watching. It was at the very beginning of the movie when he just first showed up in wherever land he is, and I completely forgot that the love interest was uh, was a black woman. Of course, it it. It, well, yeah, I mean <laughs> the '90s, '90s uh, <laughs> that style movie. Come on, <laughs> but dude, I was oh my god, like that that movie. I was confused because Crispy said a lot of people don't like Dark Knight, but I thought Dark Knight no, was the one I'm that saying, everybody I'm loves. Saying you can definitely find a shit ton of people online who will argue the point that Dark Knight is a bad. The Two Face stuff was kind of lame. Well, yeah, it could have been. Better. It definitely kind of anyway. Like, loses off, off topic again. So be, anyway. Bivis Dodge sucks. Yes. I wasn't it's planning just, on saying it. I, Should I not say it? Oh my god, it's so many things though. That's it's not thing. just like it's not a bad movie like Fantastic or Fan Four S Whatever that one was, yeah. Is a bad movie. It's like Have you I did you see know. that? No. It okay. is pretty low on Rotten Tomatoes though. It's yeah. it's much higher than Fan Fortastic yeah, though. Yeah. Everything's yeah. much it's higher like than that. Two hours and Dude, I, I will Did you get worse reviews than Daredevil? I will say, oh yeah, I will. Dead Daredevil, Deadpool, Daredevil. Okay. Daredevil. Oh, oh, I didn't realize that. Daredevil. I will say that the uh, the new Miles Teller is that his name? The he yeah. was a uh, Mister Fantastic yeah, from the yeah. Fan Fantastic. Yeah. He has a new movie out with Anna Anna Kendrick. That movie's supposed to be real bad too. Which has like a seven. Yeah. Right now. Jeez. Oh man. Yeah. Like I saw the I, I saw the the box art and I was like, oh, Miles Teller and Anna Kendrick. That uh, that sounds like it might be good. Let's hope that gets him dropped out of the the uh, acting pool. search for Han Solo. Oh yeah, that's true. God. I mean, Miles Teller isn't horrible. We all hate that guy because Crispy told us he sucked in high school. <laughs> oh, I forgot that's about that. Guy. I forgot that's about that. <laughs> He's I, a piece yeah. of shit. I, I and then, I, then there was that Rolling Stone article that confirmed that he's a piece of shit or something like that. Was that yeah. after the the whiplash? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was like last year. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck Miles Teller. So but anyway, any, Batman versus Superman has a lot of issues. It doesn't have enough Batman versus Superman, in my opinion. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, and and the movie's barely about that. Yeah. And uh, I. I w- are what, there are there any? Su- I guess we can't spoil it. There's yeah, a I'm, lot. I'm trying Dude, not to spoil the, it. The, There's the so lengths, many issues. Like the 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 like the lengths that movie goes to like reach into like the whole Justice League shit is incredible. Like I can't uh, I can't believe some of the stuff they were showing. I was us. surprised. And, yeah. and and like in in the moment I was like this is really fucking exciting. Like oh my god. Like I was kind of like freaking out like but, oh my god, that's this guy and that's this guy and they're doing this and they're talking about Martian this. Martian Manhunter. But none of it belongs in the so, movie. So none of that's it makes what I'm any saying. Yeah. fucking and, sense. And that's why they put it in there cuz they just want to get people fucking hyped for something, but they still could have put it in there and had it done in a good way. <sighs> the the problem is that there's so much content in this film that it feels like it's just a matchup of two to three films at once. Are there any it, like surprises yeah. or twists that y'all can tell me that aren't too spoilery? No. To, what it seems to me... Jar of P. There you go. Jar of P. Yeah, yeah, Jar of P. There's, what is, a, there's a twist in the movie that pivots around a jar of Lex Luthor's urine. Well, that you didn't have to say Lex Luthor. Well, yeah. and it Wonder might Wonder not Wonder even be. It might not even be yours. Oh my God, I, I, I would hope it is. <laughs> anyway, anyway, it seems to me 
that if you were to take the Marvel Cinematic Universe and try and make one movie that's a synopsis of all of those films, that's what this is. Someone took a bunch of chunks from each of those films and made it into one. That's what this seems like to me. Anyway, let's move on from Batman yeah. versus Superman. We might be doing a podcast. Well, no, I'm sure we so. will. I'm sure we just the problem uh, we got I out of go it. I see late. it again. Uh, and I, then uh, we should. No, I like. Uh, I feel like I, every review I've listened to, like I've been listening to a lot of podcasts about this movie, and and all these different reviewers are talking about, it, and they're describing scenes that like I just don't even don't, remember because the movie was because too long. Because they're throwing so much shit at you, like there's well, no way you can catch it. The all. movie's so long, but it's also cut so very thin all the time. Oh there's God. there's this this has happened in the whole movie, just yeah. scene Dude, after scene after scene. Was Zack Snyder like assaulted by an establishing <laughs> shot when he was a child? <laughs> We were talking about that before you got here. Yeah, averse to using them. Uh, All right, let's let's move on to video games. Unless anyone has anything else, non video game -game related. related? No, no. Good. I got a new phone. Whatever. Oh really? That's cool. What'd you get? Galaxy S7. Wow, getting all getting all fancy. Yo, I had a deal. So cool. Uh, all right, uh, let's let's just jump right in. I want to talk about. Did you do that? Because I mentioned something about your phone uh, last time you were over here. What about my phone last time? I, I was like, there? why do you still have that phone? You should be I able to get an upgrade it, by now. And, and I, next time I see you, you have a new phone. Well, no, I, I upgraded because <laughs> it really I, stuck with it. So with the Galaxy <laughs> S4, it had a batch problem in which it wouldn't detect the SIM card after a certain amount of time. Yeah, and that happened to me like last year. It happened to me like about last year. But it's recently started doing it like two, three times a day. I just got fucking tired of it because I'm worried that I'm, you know, not going to wake up in time for work because yeah. it, it won't do any of the apps. You know, the you can get like an alarm clock for like two dollars. Yeah, but that's two dollars, you know, <laughs> when I could just have it on my phone. And I'm ready to go. I guess so. So I have a new phone. You know, so. There you go. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to talk about Salt and Sanctuary because okay. I finished it. No. Uh, finally. What you don't want, you don't? No, I just I can't even think about Salt and Sanctuary. Right Why is now. that? It's too fucking big. Why is that game so long? So that that's the thing is like, <laughs> and I I was watching George a little bit today <laughs> on bad, his stream, fuck. and once again I jumped in the stream and the, like one of the first things I hear him say is like, where do I go? <laughs> and what that's the epitome of this game is because we talked about this a little bit last week on the podcast. When when it comes to to knowing where to go in the game, you're constantly lost because it's 2D. You know, it's hard to get a frame of reference of where you are. You can't see things in the distance. There's no kind of like, you know, games in the past have done 2D games especially have done things where even though it's 2D, you can see places you've been like in the background and stuff like that. And I, I'm sure that's much more difficult to implement, especially for such a small team, since this is mainly two people developing this game. Mm-hmm. But, like, it's just, you you constantly get lost. And this is something I was talking about with Brad earlier, uh, before the podcast, is when you, you'll unlock abilities, like Metroidvania-esque, you unlock abilities that can get you into new areas that you've previously been, but you forget about them. Like, mm-hmm. you forget that you saw, like, a red door somewhere that you can now access if you just backtrack. Uh, and it, it can take time, just, like, wandering around trying to find that, you I, okay, I remember it now, but where did I see that? And, uh, and you know what they need? I, I think they, that they, I don't think they can make a really detailed map, like because the the world's much bigger and more complex than say your typical Metroid or Castlevania game. Mm-hmm. But I think they could at least do like an area map. You know that, what I mean? That would be that cool. would kind of yeah. show how yeah. the general areas are connected. But at some point in the game, you come across like a like a like a like a dude in a boat who will take you to another place. He um, just takes you but, to the other side of the map. But yeah, it, well, it, 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 it circles back around. Yeah, correct. So it's like the world of, is a loop. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, really? yes. Ki- kind of. Well, when you go to the boat, once you take it, you just go you to the other side. You take it to the, the other side. Yeah. And that doesn't explain that. It explains, like, oh, it's a nothingness, and you kind of go oh. off into the fog, and then you just come out the other side. Mm-hmm. I mean, and the thing is, I found that out by finding one of the boats, not taking it. And then several hours later, finding the other boat and being like, wait, I'm on the other side of the map. And sure enough, when I took it, I ended up where I thought I was going to end up. Um, Well, I mean, I think one of the difficulties of that mm -hmm. is kind of related to, this is kind of a personal qualm I have with Ska Studios. I love them, but the art style that they have across all their games Mm -hmm. is pretty similar. Yeah. And everything I've seen of Salt and Sanctuary, a lot of the environments look kind of samey. So... 
To an extent they do, yes. So I would think that it's pretty easy to get lost based just on the art style. So, uh, so yeah. More distinctive than, than maybe you'd think. It's it just is? there's so many that... There's there's a lot of areas yeah. in the game. Okay. There's a lot. And so when you... You'll go to some areas, like this one has like this. They'll have like tones. They'll have color tones. Mm -hmm. they'll, you'll be in like a jungle area. You'll be like in a treetop area. You'll be in like a sandy area. So there, there, there is definitely distinctions. It's mm -hmm. just there's so many remembering how they connected and where you were like it's almost like you don't spend enough time in those areas does that make sense yeah like yeah it's mm -hmm. definitely distinctive but because you don't see how they like switched like almost like a reddish tint when it came yeah. here mm -hmm. this is a different area now mm -hmm. and I, I i don't know if this is the hall of cages yeah hall of cages yeah hall of cages whatever it's called yeah it's it's, it's red, a it's red and there's cages and shit everywhere um, and so, yeah, it's definitely, once you're in there, you're like, oh, okay, I remember where I am. But, like, once again, just like the, just because there's so many areas, and it, it depends on how you play the game. Like, I think I got through the game fairly quickly. Um, like I said, it took me like 18 hours to beat the game. Uh, and so I guess, uh, I didn't spend enough time, uh, you know, dying maybe, or I, I don't know, like, uh. I mean, I, I, I spent a lot of time, like. Upgrading weapons, trying them out. You and know, so I and guess stuff. that might be the. Like, I, I went, I a lot of RPG stuff that I spent a, sunk a lot of time into. I guess I, I, because the, I could see the tree and there was so much. I found one path and I just went down it. And so come the end of the game, you know, when I was level like ninety something, I was really good in that. But I had no other skills. I couldn't. I could only use light armor. I could only, you know, I had no magic ability whatsoever. I, 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 st I, I, I picked the dexterity path and I fucking held to it. The only thing I did was I switched from daggers to swords so I could use katanas. Mm -hmm. But katana scale dex, so I mean that wasn't a huge change. Yeah. Um, I got potato armor. I'm a potato knight. Really? Yeah. You have potato armor. Yeah, like it's a potato. Yeah, it's a potato. So if you like the Onion Knight, I guess, or something. Yeah, maybe. It, I assume that's what it's in it's, reference. Yeah, to. Okay. it's a reference to that. I'm so a, I look like a potato. So there are shrines, right, where you sanctuaries. Go, yeah, yeah. And then, they they function like a bonfire. Yes, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. Does that offer tying back into the map? Does that offer like fast travel? So yeah, there is yeah. there is a fast okay. travel mechanic. Um, exactly like a Souls game where you can travel from bonfire to bonfire and then you have items that will take you back to bonfires. The only difference is in this is you can't you can't just go to a, a sanctuary and then travel from there to another one. You have to every sanctuary will hold four NPCs. And the thing is, you choose who those four are based off these like stones you find in the world. So you can have you can have blacksmiths, you can have merchants, you can have alchemists, you can have mages, you can have clerics, you can have uh, you know Can you trade them out? No. That's okay. the thing. So but there's a lot of sanctuaries. There, well there's a lot. But so you're also limited to four. So what I found myself doing often was I was only at three in case I wanted to add like but I also ended up because I went down that straight path, I didn't end up using any stone clerics or stone mages because they were literally wasted space oh, yeah. because I would never Isn't buy anything from them. Spells. Exactly. And, and so early on, I was putting them there because I'm like, oh, I'm just going to put these guys here. So like my very first sanctuary didn't have any stone guides and the stone guides are the one that allow you to, tr to go wherever you want. Now you will get an item later on that because money is almost useless for anybody going not magic, the only thing you use money for in this game really is for buying spells and prayers. Like, you don't use money for a whole yeah, lot else you, you otherwise. You can't buy, like, armor or weapons? No, like that's... That? No, they, you, well, so you can, they but can. there's very, very few armor you can buy, mm -hmm. and you find better armor in the world. Okay. And, and so I found myself not... The, oh, to upgrading items is via salt, not not money. Uh, the only thing you I, I personally really used money to buy was, um, like, torches, arrows... You can also uh, buy upgrade items. materials. You can buy material to upgrade your <coughs> items. Okay. Um, but other than that, there wasn't a whole lot. Uh, and so, and so, yeah, so what I can say, the early couple of shrines for me, I wasn't able to put stone mages in, but one of the items you can buy is a war horn, which is, does allow you, when you blow it, you can travel to any sanctuary that has a guide yeah. in it. So once again, still a little bit limited. Um, what did you think about this game overall, Nolan? Overall, I really enjoyed it. My once again, I think my my biggest issue. I don't want to say it was too easy, but it kind of was. Bo like I think bosses got too easy. Yeah. No. So later on in the game, I was beating almost all of bosses first try. Yeah. And so the later bosses are honestly less memorable for me. 
because the earlier bosses were the ones I had to fight the most. Yeah. Because I was still learning the game. I was, <sighs> you know, I was low level. I didn't have so many abilities. Yeah. Like most of the bosses, like in this footage, I think towards the end, I run into a boss for the first time, and I'm pretty sure I beat him I on my first try. The problem for me is that I, I feel like they hit harder. Like they're pretty dangerous, mm -hmm. but. They telegraph their moves really easily. Well, a I mean, lot of the they time. for me they just go down quick. Like, like they don't have a lot of health, um, or maybe they yeah. do. But but my the scissors I use is just just cha cha cha. <laughs> yeah, just I, I like, saw you kill like three boss enemies in one fight. Yeah, I feel really like the, the nature of the game being two D and them giving you like, you know, the typical sort of like jumps and rolls that you would use for platforming kind of also make the boss fight a little easier. Because you, like you can roll through the bosses, you can, you can, you can roll jump through. over a lot, like yeah. a lot of people. Yeah. Like. There, there's one, there's one dragon that you fight kind of early on. Mm -hmm. uh, as long as you jump up in the air, he can't hit you. <laughs> All of his attacks hit down and right in front of him. So if you're in the air and you're doing a, a, a melee attack, so you're kind of hovering in the air as mm -hmm. you attack, his attacks just go right under you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think mm -hmm. I even ended up like saving the footage of me fighting him just because. It's so kind of broken to an extent. So, given the the design of the world mm -hmm. and just how Metroidvania esque, you know, and Dark Soulsy it is, mm -hmm. are I would assume that some of the bosses are optional, or yes. do you have to beat? No, all yeah, of them? no, okay. there there are definitely optional bosses. You can uh, uh, I, I, I and areas too. Yeah, yeah. yeah did, did, did you areas. did you go to the area that's at the bottom of like the Dark Souls two pit? Yes. You need like an item to get in there, but I'm not sure where to get that item. Or the, maybe I have it. Uh, I don't know. Are you talking about that? There's a person at the entrance to it, and they yeah yeah. I know what you need to do to get into there. You have I may to have do already something. done it. You, I highly doubt you've done it. Oh, it's something weird and specific. Yes. Uh, so I actually I platinum this game because I remember. Oh. oh, so I Jeez. and it honestly was Wait, easier. What than is you a think. platinum? Until, uh, unlocking though. every trophy, and so that is essentially beating every boss, joining every uh, covenant thing. Joining them. Yes, you have to join each one. Which that, is that's not as tedious. hard as you think. It's not as hard as you think. But you don't have to visit the sin person each time? Um, You you do, I guess. Uh, to, to, to forgive you of your sins, yeah. Uh, but anyway, it's because once I beat the game, I looked and I had like two more trophies left. And I was like, yeah, I'll just do them. Oh. Um, like, you know that first boss you fight at the very beginning mm -hmm. of the game? Much easier second time around. <laughs> like, once you know how the game works... He's actually fairly easy to kill uh, mm -hmm. because it was just you, know, you don't have a whole lot of health, so like one or two hits, will, depending on your class, will kill you. But once you understand how this game works and you understand how dodging works and what, it's very easy to dodge his attacks. And that's 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 kind of a situation where I was talking about when you go and you fight a boss, the first few of their attacks usually get you because you may, or maybe you, I mean, you learn the patterns. But yeah. since they're so kind of simple to an extent, it's easy to read them, and you just okay. Well, I'm not going to get hit by that again. Now, once again, some bosses will have you know, midway through their their health bar, they'll switch up their tactics. Mm -hmm. But once again, they're still easy to to read. Uh, honestly, I thought the final boss wasn't that hard. I will say that I died to him a couple times, uh, which was more than the other ones. But that's just because his attacks were really fast. And I often, when I ended up getting hit by them, was because I was doing a combo and I did one too many, and I should have, I should have, I was getting a little greedy. Mm -hmm. um, but it's funny though, and I have some on, on, on my YouTube channel uh, that has like two thousand views because <laughs> uh, I upload stuff there that I don't want to upload to the four player. But anyway, like in the final boss, do. why would you not want to upload that to the four player? Because it's also it's just recorded off of my PlayStation, so it's not me talking. It's you know what I'm saying it's oh. just like a random clip. Uh, because I wasn't casting at the time. I was just recording it. Um, and so uh, during the final, if any boss, when you go and fight them, it will always do the intro, which is kind of frustrating. Uh, so you die to a boss. When you go back to that boss, it does the intro scene again where it, it zooms in on the boss and it shows their name and it pauses the game for a second, which can be frustrating. And I accidentally found when I was finding the final boss, I was doing a, 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 a dodge. I was doing like a wall jump to dodge one of his attacks. Mm -hmm. And I jumped so high that I kind of left the area. And when I fell back in, it did the boss intro again. Oh, no. And any time I would do that, it would do the boss intro. But would it restore his health? No, no. Th okay, thankfully, good. it didn't restore his health. It just did what? the intro it's again. It's pretty funny. Yeah. And so there's like the footage of me. It's You see me accidentally finding it, and I do it like four more times. <laughs> just because it pauses and does the intro. Um, 
Yeah, but yeah, so I mean, overall, I really did enjoy this game. I think they, uh, we kind of brought it up last week, they improved on a, th- a lot of things that hopefully From Software looks at and adds into their game because there's it's definitely a lot stuff. of improvements yeah. here that they can they, they can kind of ble- bleed into to a Soul series and not feel bad about it because this game definitely borrowed a lot from them. Yeah. I mean, it, uh, yeah, I don't know. Understatement. I, I, oh, I, <laughs> I would ask two more questions of you. Yeah. Uh, since you've beaten it, uh-huh. uh, how's replayability? Um, so... G- Straight away, you can do New Game Plus. New Game Plus, okay. Yeah, starts you over again. Enemies are more difficult. Wait, Mm -hmm. New Game Plus, do you keep items? You keep everything. The only thing you don't keep... Oh, so you keep your spells. The only thing you don't keep is your abilities. So wall jumping, Uh, uh, you know, all all the stuff you unlock as part of the story that kind of blocks off uh, progression. You don't keep that. But, yeah, you keep your items. It kind of makes me want to make a magic build. So that's what I did. When I did New Game Plus, I started putting stuff into magic. Um, so you can theoretically max out your character. Oh, yeah, you can. But okay. the thing is, it, enemies definitely get more difficult. Oh, I bet. It, it's, it's essentially like starting the game over again. Like, that's they get pretty difficult. Um, but, yeah, dude, magic honestly is super fucking OP in this game. Okay. Like, oh. I, when you go, like, a magic build, like, you, pretty good. you can, like, demolish some bosses. Uh, it, it's But, I mean, it, it does, it's very different. From playing uh, stamina based build, like, which is like, cool. So like, it's very different in the extent that you not only have your stamina bar, but you also have that focus meter. Mm-hmm. And once that focus meter gets completely drained, it doesn't recharge unless you use an item to recharge it. And also, ever, similar to being hit in combat, we talked about this last week. But if you ever get hit in combat, you lose your max health. Your max health is brought down a little mm-hmm. bit. Same thing with using magic. When you use magic, your max stamina is brought down a little bit. And so you have to use items to kind of re rebuff yourself. Okay, so kind of like humanity and kind of and yeah, like, okay. you know, when, when you when you when you're hollowed or whatever in the Souls game, you have less health. It's kind of like that, but mm-hmm. just it, if you ever go back to a sanctuary, all that gets replenished. Okay. But, but but it's kind of it almost I don't want to say forces magic users to also do non magic. Like you physical attacks, but to an extent it kind of does, because sometimes when you're fighting like kind of lower enemies, it, it's almost like, eh, I'm not gonna waste my stamina and focus on this enemy. I'm just gonna fucking hit him. Uh, I think is this the boat? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I take it. Yeah. I'm gonna the finish other, it. I mean, I'm, dude, I'm pretty should. close. It's, it's, well, I mean, I, I honestly, plan to. I just haven't. I think been you are on. closer than you think. And that's one of the things with this game is because there's so many bosses and because you don't really have a. a good gauge of how far you are in the game it's kind of you you kind of aren't exactly 100 percent sure how far you are but you you do know when you're going into the final it's very obvious when you're going to the final boss um based on the gameplay mechanics and what you've experienced mm -hmm. i mean it's this is completely outside the scope of a three-man team making this but Mm -hmm. do you think it would have benefited or detracted from the experience to have cooperative multiplayer so there is local multiplayer in the game Oh, they're, oh local. it's local. Not online, okay. but yeah, there's local multiplayer. I didn't game. realize that. Yeah, yeah. The, the, you have to uh, uh, put a, per- a certain uh, person into your sanctuary. Mm-hmm. There's a person you can put in there. I forget what they're called. Like a stone leader, not leader, or whatever they're called. Something. Mercenary. Mercenary, yeah, the yeah. mercenary. And if you do that... Or cell sword. Or cell sword, something like that, whatever it is. You can do local, local co-op. Okay. Just straight up. I, I don't know exactly how it works because I've never had anyone to do it with. But uh, uh, I, I know you can. I've seen some people online doing it. Hmm. I wonder if you can like combo and stuff together. Yeah, you could, because that's the thing. Is because even bosses in this game can be staggered. Like if you, they, they have like a stagger. If you do enough damage, you can like knock them back and cancel yeah. attacks and stuff. And so you can fucking wombo combo bosses. I wish there was a meter for that. Yeah, th- that's the one problem. Is there's no way to tell. So you will learn. Based on experience, oh, if I can do three attacks, I'll st- I'll stammer them, I'll stagger them, and that, it's a little more common with, um, uh, you know, just regular mob enemies because they usually have lower <coughs> stamina require stagger requirements and lower it, health. It, it adds like so like this is a little off topic, but we should probably transition anyways. Probably. Um, so like Street Fighter has always had this mechanic where if you if you get a lot of successive hits over and over and over on your enemy they'll get dizzy which makes you them you them completely open for but like in Street a, Fighter you like have a, a meter big, for that. When in Street Fighter 5 you do. Never okay. never before I don't believe there was a, there was never a stun meter mm-hmm. where you could see how close they were to that stun but there's a tiny little thing where 
now you now it shows you the meter it like plays into like the you know it plays into the mind games of the match because yeah. if you're getting beaten up on you can see it getting closer and closer and closer and you kind of have to get away for it to back down and it changes the way people you know some people re- yeah, react you might be a little more aggressive yeah so exactly might... it's like oh I, I gotta get this i gotta get one more hit and he gets done one more hit he gets done and all of a sudden your opponent is like doing everything they can to keep you from getting that last hit mm-hmm. it, it, it's different than when there's no meter at all so it's a smart little addition they added i mean some fighting games have that kind of meter that you can see but i don't think street fighters had it before and i think it actually adds a nice little uh meta layer it's not even meta but it's it's just cool i, I guess i i once it'd, again, be not, I it'd be nice if a dark souls boss had that it, it would be it would be cool uh yeah because you know you, once again it's easy to figure out uh yeah. when you're fighting him like i think one of the i think maybe even the, the final boss i noticed every fifth hit i would stagger him yeah and so sometimes i would definitely play on that i would do four hits wait for him to go into his big attack that would usually was harder for me to dodge and then hit him there because i knew i'm gonna break yeah. him out of that and so, yeah, having that meter would be interesting. And I guess I didn't know that it hadn't been in Street Fighter before because I know nothing about Street Fighter games. I mm. rarely see them. But when I was watching you play recently, I noticed that st- stamina yeah. or stagger, stun meter, or whatever you call it. And, uh, yeah, I could definitely see that playing into the mechanics of the game, you know, the kind of, like, uh, mind game of that almost. Yeah. Because, you know, if you're about to be stunned, maybe someone might be a little more aggressive, but maybe they might get a little sloppy. That's and so exactly in, what happens. Instead of, instead of blocking or something, you might go for an attack, or maybe they aren't going to be off guard if you kind of come after mm-hmm, them. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. yeah, that, I definitely like that that meter's there. I just want to see how much poise damage i'm actually doing you <laughs> yeah. know it's an elu- elusive number i was i want to see it in action damn it yeah that would be good if you could i want to hear about super metroid super metroid yeah you want to hear Mi- about Mi- super metroid mini project m this saturday how mini do you know how far y'all got how is uh, that going i don't know how to gauge it yeah. really but i think we of the like four bosses well I you could look at your upgrades like how you're filling out all your um, upgrades oh yeah i think i have uh, uh yep <laughs> there's a okay number. so right. on uh on on like the save file they have like little icons that show how many energy tanks you have mm-hmm. and then there's some that are grayed out so i don't know if those are like ones i don't have yet i don't think so if, if, is that not how that works i don't think that's how it works <laughs> oh, okay well, I don't know. I have like seven or eight energy tanks. I have, I have the gravity suit right now. I have. How awesome was it to u- use the? I don't. Did chat help you? Did yeah. You forget to well, super bomb well, the glass. Whatever we got, like, huh? Super bomb the glass. Yeah, yeah. That was like, when you said that in chat, I was. But like, I said that when y'all like first started the game. Yeah, but that <laughs> that was the only time I saw. Like, I, I saw you say, are they going to super bomb the glass? And I was like, what the fuck does that even mean? Yeah. And then later in the game, when we actually had to do it, I, like, Nick was the one who told me to do it because he did it before no. me. No. And, well, dude. That, you could have pulled ahead. Dude, <laughs> sh- shut the fuck up, Brad. <laughs> the, whole idea, the whole point of us doing that game for Mini Project M, you said, was because, oh, well, everyone's going to be helping you out anyway. Yeah. And they were, and we still didn't even get anywhere close to the end. That's not true. I think you're closer. We got than like you think. two of the four bosses down. I don't know if those next two bosses are just really quick, but I got up to, um, I got up to the next boss, which I can't remember his name, but I think it's Dra- Dragoon. 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 Which one is it? Dragoon. What, Dragoon. I mean, what is the boss? Uh, it's a flying thing with a thing in its belly. Oh, that's a penis. It's a, yeah, it looks <laughs> like an eye. It kind of looks like like a weird fucked up dragon. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually did that fight once, and I had absolutely no idea what was going on, and he murdered me before yeah, I was. I think it. I was watching you do that that fight. Yeah. And yeah, dude, that seemed like pretty because it was one of those. It it's one of those ridiculous. things where there's no pattern. Like he'll leave to the left. Sometimes he'll come from the left, but then sometimes he'll come from the right. Yeah. And like it, it's kind. It's kind of. And he comes in quick, and he doesn't stay still, yeah. and he does these like. He does these really like just fucking annoying like spread attacks that there's not really anywhere to run. And grab um, moves but you and gotta kind of like shoot your way through. Hey, crispy. It. What? How do you like wall jumping in this game? Dude, no. 
I got wall jumping down like really? a fucking science. Like man. right away? Well, it took me it took me probably about ten minutes to really like figure it out, but like I can wall jump now. I've, I I was I've doing always, it a little bit in this yeah, video. Yeah, I just saw that. I've always hated wall like, jumping in this game. Like it's it's so frustrating and I think I I honestly think wall jumping is half the reason why Nick had such a hard time at the end there. Mm. Um because we were in a section damn, just did it again. Uh, he we was trying to use a grappling that, hook. He was Well, yeah. we were in the section that had all the grappling blocks on the wall and you had to kind of like grapple wall jump mm. your way up and Nick just was having a like a terrible time of it and I, I felt really bad for him and he got super old, old games like this though uh, when when it's very like you, you always look back to you know uh, Super Mario the original Super Mario yeah. like where the controls are so fucking tight mm -hmm. and like it games is. like this which try and branch out and they try and do something different I don't want to say it fails but sometimes like you got to you got to be very good yeah. Get, well, like it's like yeah. Like like one of the I, things I, I would have issue with if I were playing it is the fact that the the camera is vertically normally locked to your character. So if you jump high up in the air, you really can't gauge exactly where you're gonna what's, land what's unless you on. already memorize what's yeah. down there. Yeah. I mean, I I feel like the the controls for like the finer controls for things like wall jumping are really you know they're really finicky, but I don't think they're bad. I just think. Like playing this game really made like made me think a lot about Rogue Legacy. Made me think a lot about Spelunky, and and I was just thinking like, oh my god, like wall jumping in a two D game today is so like not a thing you ever even think about. No. Nope. And in this, it's practically a puzzle. Yeah. Like it's practically something you have to like fucking figure out. And well, you the, actually the see the cool thing about it like, is that the alien creatures doing yeah, it yeah. and that's how you that's, that's what I was saying like the the cool thing about it is that you have the ability to do it the whole game it's yeah. just so obscure that you never even really think about doing it yeah. and then at one point the game just shows you hey by the way you can do this we're not going to tell you exactly how it's done but this is a thing that can be done I and they kind of like let you figure it out and that was that was again it took me like 10 minutes it was super frustrating but i got to a point where i was doing it consistently and it's it's literally just like thinking about like 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 flip jump back jump like you have to make sure that you hit the back button before you hit the jump button and you do the wall jump and and that's fine on its own when you start adding in like the grappling to it then there's like three or four different button presses and you have to go through the exact sequence the exact same time every single time and that can get a little tedious get a little frustrating i don't think i didn't have a problem with it i know nick fucking hates the grappling beam in this game he hates it it's and it's, it's not exactly easy to use it's not it's not like it's fun it doesn't do it for you yeah. for sure oh yeah but i don't think it's poorly designed i think once you get the hang of it like that thing, like, swinging around on that feels fucking awesome. Yeah. Like, when you make a jump that that you have, like, one block to hit yeah. to, to, to get your swing for the grappling beam, and you hit it, it feels like, fuck yeah, I'm a badass, you know? It feels good in Metroid Prime yeah. as well. It, it's, it, one of the things I was talking about earlier, and I kind of mentioned with Salt and Sanctuary, is this is one of those games where it doesn't tell you anything. Yeah. There's not really like a pop up. Hey, this is how you do this. But the yeah. little mm -hmm. details, but man. The little details in the level design yeah. are it, so fucking it's impressive. It's one of those where game. the level teaches you how to do something yeah. by just it existing. There's yeah. so many like little secrets and stuff too. Like people were pointing some of them out to us, and I was like, man, I never would have fucking gotten that. Like yeah. I just, but, I just, it would have taken like but, maybe but, if I played this game like four times. I the the, the thing is, they give you tools to like make finding that stuff easier. Like you get the visor, so you can like, see through walls also like just super bombing things to be able to see like blocks that might be like missile blocks and stuff right. to unlock secrets the, the nice like, thing about the the x-ray visor the x-ray scope or whatever it's called is that they give it to you pr like pretty late in the game i feel mm -hmm. like and, yeah. and and you have to work for it and it's not like it's an optional thing there's well, a, there's a weird the little, the game. yeah there's a weird little puzzle that you have to do to, well puzzle it's not I don't know. It's kind of I don't know. It's kind of a puzzle, I guess. It would be considered a puzzle by today's standards for sure. Um, to get to it, but then when you have that, it it's such a like it's such a fucking game changer. Mm -hmm. It's like every single room you've been in already, every new room you go to, you're like, okay, check everything with the visor. Oh look, mm -hmm. there's a gap in the floor. I'm gonna jump down there. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's some there's some fucking crazy shit going on in that in that game. I'm really really into it like i i was having a lot of fun on saturday and i wasn't expecting to like it that much uh well one thing that people really admired about this game back in the day 
that may be a little, have maybe a little lost on you since you are playing with like Nick in your ear and looking at chat. Like this game was like, you know, very much praised for like being super like atmospheric. Yeah. And whatnot. And are, are you kind of getting that the, playing it in 2016 well, the, in uh, the setting you were? I I mean, if we're talking about just like 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 the like, are we talking about like the soundtrack for the game? Or Not just the soundtrack, like, but like the, the mood, uh, the, yeah. the like the visual the style and everything design. too. Everything looks very yeah. like. I think kind of yeah. Weird and I think I think it's all. I mean, this really is your cool. first Metroid game, and, is, and that's kind is, of part of every Metroid game. This is my first other... real, actual crack in a Metroid game. Like I said, I, 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 I've played, like, the first maybe 20 minutes of Metroid Prime, and that's about it as far okay. as Metroid and me go. Um, Are you going to play the new Metroid game? I mean, that, that has all the aspects <laughs> the that you're... Federation like, Force? Yeah, that's everything you love from this game, I right? don't even know what the fuck that is. No one does. But It's a co-op mission-based... Uh, mm. You know, I... <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm really into like the the setting and the idea of the whole game. I the like the soundtrack's really great. The production design is so fucking like classic yeah. sci-fi. It it's just like I, I'm thinking about this game came out in like '94, right? Yeah. Um, and I'm thinking about like what other like cool looking futuristic things that were like sci-fi in 94 do I think still look cool today? I think 90 sci-fi looks fucking atrocious today. You know, I, I feel like at the time it was really cool. A lot of these ideas of like, oh, this is what the future will look like in the 90s were like kind of neat at the time. But nowadays it's just fucking trash. It's Doesn't garbage. But yeah. like, like the design <laughs> of her suit, the design of her ship, the design of like the enemies and the atmosphere and the weapons and all that stuff in this game, I think have this really kind of classic attributes of yeah for for um, every one super metroid there's 10 blake stones or something like that are just yeah. so bad yeah it's does does this inspire you to kind of maybe visit other games in the series or is this or gonna maybe... make me play symphony of the night is that what you're gonna do? <laughs> well pretty much in the genre i guess well I, we had talked about it because i was like you were maybe thinking of playing another metroid game and i was like well what makes the most sense for people who really fell in love with this game back in the day, since this was, it was Metroid Prime before another Metroid game right. came out, was that people were really psyched about Symphony of the Night being well, a game that was like a lot like Super Metroid. I, uh, I, I think now is the time for you to finally do that game because it's it's kind of like Metroid meets Dark Souls in a lot of ways. Yeah, yeah. it is. I uh, see. I love I love the fucking like these little statues and stuff that hold the mm. the Chozon or yeah. Chorizo or whatever they're called. <laughs> the chorizo. <laughs> chorizo. But they're fucking cool. Um, and then this one comes alive, dude. I was freaking out the first time <laughs> this happened. I was like, oh no. Um, yes, Brad. Playing this game on Saturday, I I was thinking a lot about like. Fuck, I really like now. Like, if I finish this game and I have like somewhat a more like solid fundamental understanding of like what a metroid game is i would be really interested to see how that transferred into 3d for super metroid or i mean uh, for metroid prime um and also yes i think if i fin if and when i finish this game i think i would like to go play some xbox game. one baby it'll be your first xbox one game i don't know if i'm gonna play on the xbox one <laughs> but it, they not wait why not i don't know because why it's backwards compatible. Well, because they just announced backwards compatibility. Mm -hmm. What, like... The, if, so if you owned it on the 360... The arcade version? Yeah, the Xbox Live Arcade version. Is that, like, the definitive one? No, not really. Dude, I, you know, honestly, like, because I've been emulating this one. But you should broadcast was, it, I'm saying. Well, yeah. I was emulating this one, and I was using, uh... I was using my, my DualShock 4 for it. Mm -hmm. Oh. And that, well, yeah, they get the PSN version. That, on PS3. that is just... That is just fucking... Fantastic, like I love it. I mean, I already have something the other night on my computer, on, on an emulator. Mm -hmm. Is it run well? Uh, yeah, it ran fine. I think my biggest frustration with it last time was the controller I was using. Oh. What were you using? The 360. I used two different controllers. I used a 360 controller, which that no, was a bad never idea. Do that. And I also used that that Logitech controller that you gave me. Which uh, I, if I know which one that is, I don't really like that. I don't like that one either. I don't like the. I just don't like I don't like the fucking like floaty cap style D pad. Yeah. That's the best kind. I don't like it. I, I I understand that some people would probably use that and maybe that lends itself to better to some games better than others, but like I just 
I don't fucking like it, man. Um, yeah, nice. Super Metroid is fucking legit. I'm really into it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to play it on Wednesday this week, but I think Nick and I are going to try to finish Project M. It's a little... This weekend? A little controversial. We Yeah, probably. Well, it's, it's, it's one of those situations where when we, when we started many Project M's, we try to pick shorter games. Not mm, like, yeah. You know, the, the two main Project M's we've done in the past have been Ocarina of Time and then Super Mario 64, which by no means were short games. No. Uh, and, and the two mini Project M's we've done so far before this one were fairly short games. Yeah. Uh, you know, Resident Evil 2. 2. And, and then uh, Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid. Solid. Uh, and both of those are beaten pretty quickly. Now, this game, while not being super long... It's also not super short, so yeah. There's I, a lot to it. Yeah. Well, it, I mean, but well, it. it we the, the weird thing about this game is because it's a Metroidvania. There's a lot of optional stuff, and if you're really tracking down all that stuff, you're really stretching out the length of the game. But yeah. that also makes it easier. But you so also it's don't know when yeah. you're doing optional stuff. That's is true. The thing. Your first time playing, you don't know where That's to true. go. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes you get to these points where you're like, I like, I don't know. Like, I feel like I've hit four different walls. What do I do? And then, like, you end up diverting off into like a little secret area, or, like finding something optional. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, but that you, you know, I, I spent. I spent an hour just trying to do... I don't know about an hour, but I spent a long time just trying to do, like, that second boss. Which, by the way, some of the boss design in this game is, like, really cool. The the boss with the... uh, Where the whole thing is just, like, a tug-of-war match, basically. You're just trying to push him all the way to one side of the corridor without getting pushed to the other side yourself. That was super frustrating when I was trying to figure it out. But once it clicked in my head, it it, it was actually, like, a really smart idea. Um, Really... Really kind of cool looking back on it. I don't think I'll ever have the same problem with that boss that I did ever again if I ever play the game again. But mm-hmm. but um, but yeah, that was that was a pretty neat little thing to figure out. Um, you do prefer yeah. Science I know. Uh, like I, I'm sorry to everyone that we that we ended up finished like we stopped Project M before we got anywhere near the end. But dude, I think I think Nick was gonna have a fucking aneurysm or break something or both. <laughs> like it was just. We were having a rough. Well, time. it's 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 just it's the pressure of, of a race of yeah, a marathon, yeah. and and as much as yeah. you think it it doesn't have an effect on him because you're helping him or whatever, the fact that you're inching ahead and he's stuck well, it's not on even something, that. it's but like, like that 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 can those, kill. Those yeah. events are fucking tiring. Yeah, you know, playing a game for like twelve hours is kind of like ugh, like I just want to not be playing anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like it it it's. For for someone watching it, you get to get up and go use the bathroom and, yeah. and take a nap and eat a snack yeah. and and it's 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 not. We, 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 I think I think part of it too is that we were getting really sucked into it and we ended up playing for like a really long time with like without taking any breaks whatsoever, yeah. like any meal breaks or anything. Mm-hmm. And I I I feel like I feel like that was part of the culprit. I think his blood sugar must have just like fucking hit rock bottom because he was getting like pissed and then he was getting pissed that he was getting pissed <laughs> and it was just it was just a vicious cycle i would just hate for i saw him I, later I that kinda... night and he was fine like oh, he yeah. was he was like he walked away from it for like five minutes and was just like a normal human being again but something about that fucking wall climbing was just like <laughs> was just staring into his soul like it, i felt i always kind of regretted the whole link to the past suggestion for him because oh, i really wanted to, to for, i really want him to play it, and i knew he wouldn't play it for any on other, his own, on like his he, own. Would, he wouldn't go home and play it, and so we kind of had to like, to an extent, tie him down and force him. To play but I feel like that's a much more beast of a game than Super Metroid. At least I thought. I mean, I didn't think Super Metroid. I mean, yeah, I think you are pretty. They're probably closer to the closer end to than, the end than you think. Well, I mean, yeah, he also did Link to the Past in like eighteen hours or something like that, and that's yeah. no small chunk of time. What's oh. the final boss for? Super Metroid. Uh, well, I shouldn't spoil. Well, it's, yeah. I mean, it's, it's Mother Brain. It's Samus. Yeah. It's Mother Brain. Mother but, Brain. but Wait, but that opening cutscene said that Mother Brain was dead. Yeah, sorry. Damn but, it. but I'm not going to tell you about the fight. Damn it! It's actually really cool. The the way that fight is set up Wait, is so really Mother cool. Brain isn't a Metro. You're going to you're going to cry. Or Mother yeah, Brain let's, isn't let's a not Metro? talk about it. Everyone cries let's in Super Metro. It's just a brain in a jar. You'll see. You'll I think see. I think Nolan would rather talk about No, I game. think I would rather have Chris Davis talk about the game that he's been playing. What have you been playing? I've I've been playing several things. Not that. Why didn't we Why didn't we open up with Dark Souls 3? Dark Souls 3. Okay, I can talk about Dark Souls. Several 3. of us got to touch so that. So I didn't record any footage of this. You didn't because even write it down up here. No, 
because I honestly didn't think I'd be you know, on matter. the podcast. Yeah, well, that's the thing is we didn't know he's going to be on the podcast until hey, like man. five hours ago. If yeah. Well, let's well let's hear about it without spoil. We're not going to spoil anything. I don't know how you spoil spoil a Dark Souls game by talking about it, but. Don't spoil it. Well, I mean, y'all were over here, over at my place yeah, on I wasn't. Friday. I didn't you see were not, but it. Brad and, and Chris were. I popped were. into chat like maybe once or twice. I think I was there at the very beginning and I popped in like once afterwards. Yeah. Mainly just because I'm trying to limit my exposure to the game. Just because it, it is a Souls game. And mm-hmm. it is one of those situations where walking into a boss for the first time or walking into an area or getting, you know, you know, if, if you look at the original Dark Souls, if you know... That boulder is gonna come running, rolling down the stairs. It kind of, it's less exciting. Yeah. But when when you when you walk into that stuff, not knowing, it's so much better. You'll mm-hmm. probably, whoa, probably die Why? more because of it. But uh, or at least be a little more punished. But I mean, it's it's nice to kind of go in surprised. Yeah, no, it's it's always nice to be surprised. Um, so I've put about nine hours into it. Oh, I've beaten man, the first. I put I've beaten the first three bosses. How many hours How have you put you into it, Brad? Know? How what? would you know? How Brad would I know put what? In, Brad put the in two hours the trying to find the first bonfire. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I feel like for having Dark Souls for a week, that's not all. He hasn't yeah. had it for a week. Or Y'all started this on what? I bought it on, on Friday? Friday? Well, it's been like four days. Okay, a Souls game is a binge game. I'm surprised given the weekend that you have not played more as well. It's not a binge game. It, yeah, it may be I've for you, I've played a lot of Souls games. They're binge well, games. It's, it's a binge game so for you, but it's not so for the, me. The, you binge they're Blood memory Blood. leak games, Chris Davis. And when you binge play them, the memory <laughs> leaks. Have oh, let's not. Oh, my God. People so, are salty. I was one-shotting bosses. So, uh, so I'm, I'm already getting shit about this because supposedly... So I bought... I created a Japanese account yeah. on Xbox Live, and I bought Dark Souls, the English version, through that. Correct. Well, evidently, that's the 1.0 version. It's the pre, pre-day pre one patch, uh, obviously. Uh-huh. So it doesn't have the multiplayer mm-hmm. at all. So and it doesn't have a bunch of fixes and things like that. But the thing is, and I keep being told this by certain people in chat, mm-hmm. that it's they actually dumbed down the difficulty for the 1.0 version mm. just for like reviewers and things like that. So oh, they can actually wow. progress Come through on. the game. No way. So you're that's playing what the easy version? Me. You're playing on easy Evidently, Oh, what a fucking noob. Evident, what a fucking what memory leak. You're not even a man anymore. So I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> fuck all these people. I don't give a shit. Because honestly, hey, that's difficulty down. should not matter Sad when experiencing time. a game to me. It should not matter. So, so, but it uh, does. You're not on. even a real fan. They don't. They don't fucking kill the difficulty for review copies. They do sometimes for yeah. Dark Souls. Uh, hey, I, I, that does not shock me one bit. No. Especially coming off of like The Witness, when so many reviewers gave up on the game because it was too difficult. I would not be surprised. I, I would think if, that's what they're like going for for this game. No, like, like, no, they definitely want reviewers. Like, to like they want them. people to quit. They want people to walk yeah. away in shame. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, because that's how you get a five or six out of ten. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, but but I mean, it's it's yeah. I, I understand why they probably did it. Shame, shame. <laughs> yeah, shame me because I didn't realize I was playing the easier version of the game. Shame. Fuck that. Shame. If you've got a problem oh, with it, I, put I a difficulty more. selection in your game. Shadow shame. Well, that was shame, shame, shame. <laughs> but so shame. I've I've beaten the first Bad three thing. bosses. I've explored three primary environments. I'm about to How start a fourth. How many times do you think you've died? I probably died about 20, 30 times on the easy version. Hey, fuck off! <laughs> you ha- you yeah. help contribute with a lot of that, okay? I didn't die. I'm I didn't even get to that. fight anything. I was just running around the nexus. So hey, how, you brought that on yourself how, too. So without without spoiling or going into too much detail, how how's the world layout? How's like the world? Do you so have, do you have fast travel from the very beginning? So yeah, you can fast travel <sighs> between bonfires. It's interesting that you bring that up, the bonfire specifically, because it feels so much more accessible because there's a lot more of them this time around. Really, compared like, to what? Like. I'm thinking like Bloodborne. Okay. Okay. You know how Bloodborne, you know, you go the probably were kind of the lanterns apart, were about yeah. 10, 15 minutes apart on your first try through. Mm-hmm. These are about five minutes. But in that, in and of itself, there, it's actually handier because you get to, you know, sections of the level much. But that, I don't to, know, to easier, that extent, but it better. also takes away from the Souls game, in which, uh, you know, if you think of, you know, Dark Souls, uh, it, you. 
unless you knew where you were going, it could take a while to get to bonfires. And that kind of adds to that tension, that fear that, dude, I have a lot of fucking souls built up. Do I keep pressing forward to try and find a new bonfire? Or do I run back through an area I've already cleared out so I know there's no enemies and go back to the safety of a bonfire I'm aware of? It kind of, that, that knowing that they are more frequent is actually kind of frustrating because it's like it almost takes tension away from well, it. Well, I... I... I partially agree with you there. Mm-hmm. I I think that it it's it's more of a boon to the player because mm-hmm. uh, they are placed at points to where they're not necessarily closer to a boss or an exit or something like that. They are kind of strangely placed sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like they will be near the start of areas, mm-hmm. but then sometimes they'll be at just a weird nexus point mm-hmm. that there's no reason for it to be there. That's what someone brought. Maybe maybe do you think in the 1.0 version they added more? Oh, I, no, there's no way they would take that I don't out. I think so. No. Although there is the mechanic where you can, like, make your own bonfires. I haven't seen that yet. What? I didn't well, know about that's, that. Well, that's kind of what they introduced with the first boss. When you kill him, you get that, that twisted sword, and then you go to the Firelink Shrine or whatever the hell it's called, and you put the sword in the thing to make sword a bonfire. I thought that was just a cre- story related to create that well, bonfire. Well, I think, I think that's, a, that's an actual mechanic. I remember reading about that like last year. That's a, like a thing they're going to do. They give you those swords hmm. that you can actually like move bonfires around. Well, hell, that'd be fucking handy. I don't know. There's, there's a... I heard this game I, maybe from people playing the real version... <laughs> Same. <laughs> Shame. No, I hear that later on the game, like it gets quite hard, quite hmm. difficult. Oh, I've I've Dude, encountered several felt, enemies that it felt difficult there's, there. <laughs> there's I've encountered enemies that I cannot believe there's any way to actually defeat them. Just like random mob like spawn enemies. No, like one specific enemy in certain points. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like for example, I found this this creature that is primarily focused on frost attacks because mm-hmm. frostbite's now a thing. Yeah. Mm. That's, well, they've had frostbite in games before. I've been told from my Dark Souls playing friends that no. Okay, I, I, I don't know. I'm definitely not a Souls expert. I've yeah. played them all, but hell so if I remember. I found this I this creature, and I was playing him. I could not defeat him because not only does he do frost attacks, but he's super super fast in his attacks, and there's very little delay between them. Mm-hmm. So. I could barely get like one or two hits in before he'd attack again. Mm-hmm. And he will just kick your goddamn ass. I mean, have you tried blocking with a shield? Yes. Okay. Yes, I have. Have you tried parrying? I've tr- I've only just started parrying. You okay. don't have to parry in Dark Souls until the final boss <laughs> of Dark Souls. And that's literally <laughs> yeah. the only time in the whole series where you better learn how to parry. Yeah, yeah, no, but some, I mean, some of those Black Knights parrying can do quite a bit. But I mean, there was this, this enemy. I ended up having to lead him out of his area around an elevator and then rush back through his area to sneak <laughs> to get past him and open that goddamn yeah, it's door. It's like the Red Eye Knights in Dark Souls mm-hmm. or Demon Souls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean that the, the there's always the occasional really hard enemy that's kind of suggesting maybe don't go this way yet or mm-hmm. you know but tell you one, one of the one of the cool things I've encountered thus far is I mean granted I barely played Dark Souls 2 mm-hmm. I was heavily intoxicated at the time I've beaten Bloodborne a couple times so couple, this is really? like my yeah I'd be a couple times and uh so this is my first pure Dark Souls experience mm-hmm. I appreciate in reference to Bloodborne or in comparison Mm -hmm. that there's a considerable amount more of NPCs that you can interact with. I mean, so yeah, that that is one comment a lot of people made on Bloodborne is that there are very few people that you interact with in the world. Yeah, I mean, I I don't think I want to go into saying like who I've met. And that's But I I I will will say that they do make a solid effort to incorporate DS1 and 2 characters. Hmm. Yeah, spoilers that a little bit. I will not go and I will not mention names. I anyone apologize. Who, anyone who if, might if be I sound rude, incandescent? it seems really hard to spoil these games. People are kind of like overblowing this. I feel like, I, I, Brad, it's it's don't better you to, fucking spoil Dark Souls three for it's me. Like to be okay, safe. It's an Sorry, experience. Brad, let, let me you let can't. me let me give you an example of a spoiler without saying what it is. What the what? third what? boss in the game? Okay, oh, okay. You go. His name is Santa Claus. Is Orin seen in the game again? Don't, what, what don't answer Orin that scene? question. I have no idea what Don't answer that is. question. Anyway. You the, said you played Dark Souls 2. I was heavily intoxicated. The old dragon hunter. Considering you've played very little Dark Souls 2 and, and no Dark Souls 1, I bet you couldn't even spoil Dark Souls 3 for us if you tried. He probably could. 
Lol. Let's not let him try. Lol, Lord, there's whatever. a dragon and he blew fire. I just. Well, see, that's not a spoiler, Brad. Well, I don't. I mean, that's what I'm saying. How do you spoil Dark Souls? There, you there is there is a dragon. It does blow fire, but <gasps> th this is something that was in all the pre-release material. Y you fucking played it at PAX, okay? I didn't, so I didn't play it. Well, somebody played it at PAX. I've never played Dark Souls three. Chris did. So it's there. People have known about it. People, anyway, people, these people. The, this the third boss. You walk into an area and you you feel you know this is a goddamn boss here because it's so fucking huge. Yeah, but you don't realize it. And then one of the things in the background that you didn't that you just thought it was a cool decoration turns out that's the boss. Hmm. And it gets angry and you have to fight it. Mm -hmm. No and, joke. What's your build? Great. great my, chest so ahead. I'm a I'm a herald. Okay, what's your build? My build? Not your character's name, your build. Yeah, because I don't... Well, that's the mean class. Nothing. Well, so, that's your starting class. That doesn't mean anything. I'm, I'm just saying, so what I'm are mainly, you using? I'm mainly what focusing on, on, on strength. I I'm, I use a broadsword right now. Okay. Though, I've been surprised oh, at how... You're playing Dark Souls with a sword. Real original, Chris. I'm I don't sorry, know what the that fuck is. that means. It's because you're not a sword. I, I have been, I have been surprised. A lot of swords in Dark Souls. I have been surprised at how many weapons you find early on in the game. I've already found like a whip. Are you using hexes? Is you dirty whip? hexer? What is a hex? <laughs> Nothing. Are you using shields? Because only the yes, baby I'm using school girls I protect... wear shields. Yeah, you, no, I, I use I use shields, Brad. We That's live, so yes. pathetic. We live in a post shield world. Naked get with no shield is the only way to play Dark Souls. If fist, you, are you gotta a fist man. your way through the game. Fuck off! No, no, that's not happening. That's never going to happen. Not right. even if I beat this game nine so, times. So that being said, the 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 baby version of Dark Souls three you have played, you've been enjoying though, right? I've I've been surprised how much I've been enjoying it. Okay, I've been again running into enemies and just kind of bullshit areas in which I'm just mobbed by guys for no reason whatsoever. It sounds like a Souls game. Yeah, how's the frame rate? <laughs> I mean, it's it's it wants to stay thirty. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it does. I mean, I have, it doesn't bother me bother me at all because Bloodborne wasn't you sixty. Said bother? <laughs> what? It's not even a word. Oh, no one likes but you, Brad. I, I, I have one more question for yeah. you, Chris. Yeah. Have you have you found much use for the weapon arts? I don't know what that means. I haven't been using the weapon, weapon arts. Weapon arts are the, mm. are the new like special abilities that every weapon has. Mm, so okay. every every weapon or most weapons have a weapon art, and you switch away to focusing primarily on that weapon instead of using like a sword or whatever. Is so similar your to shield Bloodborne, is where you can transform your weapon kind of like that. Yeah, or? but well, it's, it's these attacks one specific move. It's mm, like an yeah. anim it's one specific animation for that weapon. It'll have a name. It does a specific effect, and it actually instead of using stamina, it uses MP. MP. Yeah, it's like the one unique thing they added. And it seems like not very interesting. Hmm. Like the one, the only one I saw was we had a we had a spear when we were playing at Chris's, yeah. and that particular spear spear had a shield breaker weapon art where he'd do like a really hard thrust. Mm -hmm. and yeah, it would, and it would break, it would break, it would break through, the shields. Yeah, it would break someone's poise. And, hmm. and okay, deal but it's extra damage. I mean, I think it's going back to what I was saying about the NPCs. I thought it was really cool. Was that you know I'm actually interacting with them out in the world, and not only they're Have you are they giving any me of them yet. No. Okay. Haven't tried that because okay. you know. Well, I, mean, I there was definitely one time in Dark Souls where I accidentally uh -huh. got into a fight with a with a a guy. But it's it's been kind of cool. Like, uh, I'll interact with them and they'll point out things. They'll direct me to things in the world instead of just being kind of ambiguous like mm -hmm. they were in you know Bloodborne. Mm -hmm. And there'll even be ones that will like. Initially, they seem like an enemy, mm -hmm. but turns out once you've talked to them, they, they have no problem with you, and they will help you out later. Hmm. Uh, do you know if you can respec yet? I don't know, honestly. I imagine you can. Respecking so. is for fucking scrubs. Right? You should all... If you want a new build, you do it on New Game Plus, 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 or you're not a man. Scrub. But there's... <laughs> There's, there, there Spoken are, like a true scrub. There yeah. are things I don't understand yet. Sounds like a Souls game. Uh, well, like, for example, one of them, I found a, a statue of a woman, and it's a, she's the, the goddess of sin or something like that, mm -hmm. and she can Say forgive one. you. Say one. Really? Really? What, what are Wait, you talking about? Again. Same oh, oh, it's it's not a very good statue. Oh, my God. Are you it's telling me you don't understand the subtle metaphors? Like 
I don't I don't understand why I need to be forgiven for something. I don't know what my sins are. Like, You're that so way. pedestrian. But what I like little, the looseness of the uh, <laughs> What are you what, I, what I do <laughs> like what I well, another thing I do like is they've kind of refined humanity. Mm. So it's no longer called humanity, it's called embers. They usually change it you, every game. You, you are you're no longer hollow, you are the ashen. That's a spoiler, Chris Davis. No, that's like <laughs> intro. You ruined it. Fuck off. <laughs> so I haven't seen the intro. So with with the hollow slash ashen mechanic, you will um, if you die, you get a drop in health. But unlike in Dark Souls 2, in which your health will de degrade even further, which eats successive death mm -hmm. until you actually restore your humanity, it doesn't degrade uh, with with the Ashen. Mm -hmm. And you can, you can readily find a lot of... Uh, they're called embers mm -hmm. out in the world, and they they are usable items at any time that restores your health, your stamina, and your mana, hmm. all the way to full. Yeah, that sounds more like hollowing and humanity in in the first Dark Souls, mm. which that's that's kind of how that worked, where you would take a big hit, but it would only be that one time. It wouldn't continually get worse as you kept dying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cause, I mean, I really that was that, that was a pretty uniquely Dark Souls two thing. I, thought. I really hated that about my time with DS two. Right, so that's how Demon Souls also worked. Uh, it's been a while for me anyway. Uh, yeah, Demon Souls. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I've, I've been enjoying it. I look forward to homie. I look cool. forward to exploring more. Well, the rest of us will will play it in a couple uh, weeks. And I look forward to being your your guide towards solving every boss fight. Fuck that! I do it on my own. Yes. Yeah. So what are you doing? Uh, all right. Uh, there. Anybody else have any other games before I, I move on to my final game? Uh, mm. Can I just briefly throw in a little division? Yeah. I, I just. You have forty five seconds. Go. Okay. Well. I did want to mention that there's been a bunch of people that have been posting a lot of glitch videos lately. Mm -hmm. God damn you, Nolan. You're wasting <laughs> and, uh, time. And people have uh, been getting out of the map and exploring what's there and what's ready. And people have been discovering some pretty cool things. Like, you know the USS Intrepid? Yep. It's it's the aircraft carrier station in New York. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Turns out that's going to be an area, and it's going to be a pretty big raid probably. Mm. And people have also gone so far out of the map as to explore what's going to be Dark Zone 7 and 8, and the foundations for Central Park. And it looks goddamn huge. You're excited for it. I'm very excited. I hope that you get eventually get to play it. I hope Nolan. so too. I hope you too, if, if you could try your code again and if you could actually try redeeming and your code. And 45 seconds. Dude, I think I, I deleted have my... the game. I put it, I gave it to you in HipChat. Don't give me that shit. No, you saved it on, in a notepad on my yeah, computer. Yeah. And I could give it to you again on oh, HipChat. Oh, okay, okay. No, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Like, well, you asked. Uh, briefly, I just want to mention that the Street Fighter V update is out, the one that adds all the stuff that probably should have been in the game from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So, like, um, if you want to, like, they ha actually have, like, all the combo trials where you can go down and, like, learn all the kind of the basic combos for your characters. They even have a mode where they break down kind of what, like, the strategy behind, like, each character mm -hmm. like it kind of goes through like this this tutorial sort of thing it kind of shows the characters doing the moves and it explains like situations and why you would want to use that move like why it's good and it actually i mean if if you're if you're the kind of person who doesn't maybe go onto youtube and already kind of watch these like tutorial character and introductions yeah, yeah. like this this is pretty useful for someone for learning how to play the character the game it should have been in their beginning in the beginning, but it's good. It's there now. It's, yeah, also, the, good that they're adding the eight-player lobbies there for like playing and spectating mm -hmm. are there. So we can do community nights. Chai Tai has has said he, he wants to host a community night where he can do commentary. Mm -hmm. So we'll probably be, do that maybe sometime this Chai weekend Tai or something. Shoutcaster. They yeah, well, apparently he, he's gonna, gonna try. Happen, yeah. They also have this thing they introduced where you can do runbacks online, which means what? so if you're playing a, a match online with somebody. Uh -huh. You can you can choose to rematch them, hmm. and then they they can agree to run it back or not. So and it's quick. So now instead of kind of fighting a dude, losing or winning, and then getting going back thrown to the back into and, like yeah. the lobby or whatever, now you can kind of just agree to keep fighting them, which is kind of cool. Yeah, that um, is cool. I think up to three times. Yeah, so there's a. It's know. nice. It's nice stuff. I feel like this game would have been received a lot better in terms of like reviews and stuff, which were kind of like somewhat middling um, if this stuff was there from the beginning. I'm glad it's finally out and Alex comes out tomorrow. So 
He's a he's a character from Third Strike. Mm. Speaking of fighting games, another fighting game that actually got came out today. Uh, season three of Killer if Instinct. I seen, if I had seen Chris Davis once in my life play Killer Instinct, I would not have a problem with him talking about Killer we Instinct. We were playing all the time. at the launch night. Don't give me that. That's the was only no, time you there played was nothing Killer else to play. It's on season three, and you don't play yeah, the game. No, I okay. No, I, no I thought no, that was something. No. Next what was Chris cool. Davis stream. He's playing Killer Instinct with the community. I'm volunteering it as much as he brings it up. This should happen. You can play the Halo dude. You do like the, to bring it up every time you get a chance. The Gears of War I just, dude or I, whoever. The okay. Arbiters and Killer Instinct? Shut your goddamn mouth Battle for a Battletoad, man? Shut up. Okay. Okay. Part of the Season 3 DLC that start coming out today, mm -hmm. it's it's not coming until July, mm. but they've got this new mode called Shadow Lords, mm -hmm. and it is a turn-based strategy roguelike mode. That makes no sense. In which it, you, you pick a character to main... Okay, and you're fighting against Gargos, who's like the, the evil overlord of the Killer Instinct universe, for domination of the world. You're making all this up. I am not. This Gargos. is something that got this fully is all horseshit. Okay, this is real. This, this is Chris Davis's Killer Instinct fan fiction. He's just backing us all up. to play Killer Instinct. Yeah, telling I, me there's I just a strategy that turn-based strategy roguelike. That sounded like Brad when I read that. So what is what? What does that mean in practice, though? It means you are playing matches, but I don't know what else that means. Who do you, who okay. do you, who do you ship Gargos with? Gargus in your in this fanfic. <laughs> you know who's the boss in Bison? That's a boss. Mm. All right. Whatever. Well, I, anyway, speaking of fighting games, or good fighting games rather, uh, I wanted to talk about uh, Sinran Kagura. Uh, I've been playing a little oh, do more. Do we have of that. new footage? We do have new footage. I saw your sushi. Oh my god. <laughs> that game is fucked up. Dude. So uh, so I will say, I've played this game now for maybe seven to eight hours. At least three to four of that has been me customizing characters. It seems like the Because play. there's like 30 characters in the game. And custo customizing any character takes quite a bit of time. Like you can't just... You can't just like go in there and spend two like a minute on it. Like you, like because like, I like to make all my characters unique, and I don't like to have any of them not customized. I like because you know it's if it's just a character. Yeah, those well, are customized, all right. Yeah, I, I like the one with the the eyes on her boobs, and yeah. then she has like it looks like there's a mouth with the sushi coming out of it on her stomach. I just don't understand why you don't put sushi rolls in all the girls' asses. <laughs> because then that wouldn't be unique. I like them to all be, like, unique and she different. Wants, so he wants them to have character. So, who, who is best girl at this point? Oh, dude, I don't fucking know. I mean, Who's your wife? Who's, who's your bottom bitch? I, yeah. I, I don't have one. Uh, I, I don't know. I like, um... Oh, what is her name? Uh, I mean, I like Riona. <laughs> I like Riona simply because of she. She's the one that I, I shoved all the sushi into her mouth and the one in her butt. <laughs> she seems pretty good. She's she's also the. One. <laughs> she's she's also the one. and see that I love doing that because the eyes are so good. That was that's that's four rabbit tails. It's two big white rabbit tails and two smaller black ones that I positioned on her eyes. I, that's what I fucking did. I love being creative. This girl has two giant dog tails on her hands. Like what? that's that's what, what I that? love about this game is because you can put any item anywhere on any person's body <laughs> and it moves with the physics of that body. So if you if you <laughs> tie it <laughs> if you tie it to certain aspect of their body, it will move with the physics of that. So that's that's one of the reasons I like <laughs> That's why I like the customization in this game. And that's why I have so much fun playing it. And the, like me and MGS were talking about Dead or Alive Extreme 3. Yeah. He he uh, gave me access to his copy of the game and mm -hmm. I was playing it for a little Why while. Did you I was playing it for a little while off the stream cuz I was trying to figure out how to get multiplayer working. Couldn't figure it multiplayer. out. Multiplayer. Yeah, like like cause, you know, you, there's like mini games. I and thought stuff. that was strictly a solo game. And that's what I'm thinking it is. No, it is. Like it is a solo game and I was playing it and I was like this is too serious. Like, you can play dress-up in that game, but it's not fun dress-up. It's serious. I'm going to buy this girl an outfit and gift it to her, and she's going to, like, like me more. And, like, it is too serious for me. Like, it is... It's the real world, homie. It is... I'm going to go watch these girls play volleyball and take pictures of them while they're doing it. Like, that 
is not fun. Like this, while more risque, I like this girl's eyes. If you, it's kind of hard to tell from this far away, but she has two tiny sunglasses on each eye. <laughs> um, but yeah, look at this. It's a fucking fighting game. That's, yeah. why I that's why I enjoy this. It's actually fun. And then you get to fucking customize it the characters. It reminds me of an Omega Force game. Yeah. Uh, but no, so Dead or Alive, yeah, it is just a fucking dating, simulating, like, kind of like... It's just too creepy for me. No offense to those who like it. To each their own. You know, this game's definitely not the fucking coolest, like, kind of like... Well, I mean, up, I gotta Hello, say, about that clip, Nolan, the sh most shocking part was not that there was a giant sushi roll coming out of her ass. <laughs> it's that she was all, like, bent over and oh, there was, like, yeah. little lights covering her vagina yeah. and, 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 and nipples and stuff or whatever. And, so, and so this I'm horrible sure those, position. And I'm sure those are in the Japanese version. So, no, no, I don't no. think they are. No. But so, so yeah, this game, this game, if you if you finish a battle in a certain... I brought this up the last time we talked about it. If you finish a battle in a certain way with a certain move in a certain place, it will do that. That's kind of like a special kind of treat, I guess, for well, some so people. That should be what your goal is in this game. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Like, so I mean, once again, it, it's it's funny and sometimes whatever. But the thing that made it fun for me is not that you see them with the the you know the light beams covering their their parts. It's that when you see the sushi rolls and stuff like mm -hmm. that. That's that's what I enjoy. That's why I enjoy making this game goofy. And the thing is, the frustrating thing for me so far is is there's still so many items I haven't even unlocked yet uh, that you know I I could unlock and just make it even goofier. What's up? I was just uh, just watching that what she was. So that girl, it's kind of hard to tell. She has these things in her hair. So I just yeah. added like 40 more things in her hair. Like she has all these like circles in her hair. Um, but yeah, and, and so I mean, even outside of battle, there's some really the writing in this game isn't half bad. They have some really, really? fucking interesting conversations. And like, there's there. It, it, granted, there there's a lot of plot in this game there's a lot of like of plot or plot that and that okay there there is like because i the last time i was casting i didn't have a whole lot of time left on my stream and i really wanted to get one more fight in and i was like i'm just gonna x through this 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 plot and it took like two minutes to fucking x through all of like the exposition what's up brad let me ask you something does anybody have sex no. That's what I don't understand about some of these Japanese like pervy games. Is that like they're? I mean, it's just the most perverted shit. Boobs bouncing all over the place, like like shame touching and stuff. Whatever you shame do in these games, touching. yeah. But no one's like banging out. I Correct. don't understand. <laughs> like, why is no one having sex? No one's just being an adult about it. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well. What? The, um, yeah. I just don't get it. That's the banana boat finisher. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I mean, uh, no, there, there is, there is, uh, you know, one particular girl who really likes a different girl, and so she's constantly. Oh, this is the girl whose boobs like Where quadruple in size when she transforms. Soul. That that's that's see, what? see how, yeah they, they that's my favorite character. They get a lot bigger <laughs> when she transforms. Plus, you don't have to fondle them to like get bigger. Like okay, well, and that's the weird thing is there is there is like the kind of mini game in this where you can Mickey Mouse boob the hands and kind of yeah like fucking like I was trying to start a fire with them kind of like moving them up and down against each other. Um, but yeah, so I mean I don't know like I still. I still enjoy the, my my biggest frustration with this game is the fact that there are 30 characters and they all play so goddamn differently that every time I go into battle I've already forgotten how to use this character. So I I I, I like the first like half of the battle is me fumbling through the controls because while they are all very similar you know it's the same you know heavy attack light attack you know this is you always transform the same whatever it still can be very uh frustrating and, and because it's just like there are certain characters who even when you use their special ability sometimes it's st i completely fumbled that one that was frustrating my special attack and didn't hit anybody um yes <laughs> yep yep that that happens she she's got a a good transformation. <laughs> uh, um, the, actually, the one thing is, and this is something I have yet to really dabble in. You can have different customizations for transform versus non-transformed. Oh, so when they do that transformation, you actually completely change the like the accessories they have. 
Uh, but anyway, um, uh, yeah, and, and so it can be very frustrating because there are certain characters who are very, you know, even when they do their light attacks, they are very movement oriented. They move a lot. They they, they kind of uh, move around the area. Their, their attacks move them forward where there are some that just stand completely fucking still. And it is very hard to like move there. They get the big heavy attacks that are slower. And in this story, every story mission, you play with a new character, and then you do a new one, and then you do a new one. You're, like, constantly playing as new characters. And because I don't play this game super seriously, like, I don't, I, you know, I don't spend hours every day playing it. I, I've played this on three different occasions in the past two weeks. Uh, I always end up forgetting how certain characters work, and there are still characters in this game I've yet to even play as once. And I know once I get to that character, I'm going to not necessarily have a tough time, but I mean, it's it's definitely not going to be, oh, if you didn't like that finisher from the, the cutscene, you're about to see it again. The levels are definitely bigger than I anticipated. Oh, no, yeah, so certain, and so it is also, you'll, there'll, there'll be certain areas where you just kind of revisit and they block off ones. And there are story modes where it's not just straight up melee like this, you're actually kind of running linearly, you'll fight a bunch of people and then run down and then something will happen, then you'll fight more and, and kind of stuff like that. Um, yeah, you're you're about to see. No, uh, no, never mind. This one's just like that. This one's not super fancy, I think. Um, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, I, I don't know. It's it's still a fun game. Once again, I've spent over half the game just customizing them, uh, and I'm sure there's going to be more customization. Um, but yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, so it's the same thing, but it's not. She's not all. Uh, I mean, it doesn't have to be a sushi roll in everyone's butt, but something should be up there. I need to find more. So one of them, I don't know if you remember from the last time there was that hat that looks like it's like biting. I put one of those on a girl's butt. Nice. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, so I mean, I, I the combat looks very entertaining. It, it it's good. Um, my only problem Davis, with you're it. You're such a weird guy. <laughs> what? Sh Sorry. Shut go the go fuck ahead. up. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, I will. I, I will mention. Hold on. I did actually play some of the the co-op. The, I showed the verses rather. Uh, this the last time I streamed with Chai Tai and uh, I can't remember. It wasn't Biohunter. Who was it that we were playing with? It, uh, I can't remember. I'm sorry. They they clearly play this game a lot because they were pretty good. Uh, but um. But yeah, there was all these weird mini games where it's like one of them is you're just trying to like kill mobs and underwear fall like panties are falling from the sky and you want to be the one that collects the most by the end. And what I ended up doing was just running around not even fighting pe Burnsy, thank you. It was Burnsy. Burnsy clearly plays this game a bit. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I just ended up running around not fighting people and just collecting the panties that were falling. And then, like, people ended up chasing me because they were trying to, like, the other people I was playing with were trying to kill me because if they killed me, they would get all of my panties. Uh, and mm -hmm. so, but I just ran away from them. Then I just kept playing, like, the, the keep away panty game and ended up winning. Uh, and there's, I don't know, there's a bunch of different verses, but I honestly didn't have a whole lot of fun with those just because they are very simple. I wish there was more of a co-op kind of type deal. How dare you not record more footage than this? Or is this still... No, this is still going. Oh, I thought it looped. Uh, did it loop? I think we're, I think we're about to loop. If okay. We already. Maybe we did. What uh, was your question, Christian? I was just gonna comment on the the combat itself, because again, it does remind me of you know, the warrior style Omega Force stuff. Mm -hmm. I would, I look at it and it looks satisfying to go after crowds of enemies. Yeah. But after that, it's just that single boss. Mm -hmm. Does it ever feel like empty and kind of? Unsatisfying in that uh, way? No, and, and one of the reasons is, you know, you have that special ability. I think this is where I cut. I think I cut it after this fight. Yeah, that, and then it just looped. Yeah. Um, so, the, one of the reasons... I, I did, honestly did not think we were going to be talking about this game for that long. <laughs> I thought we were going to talk about it for five minutes and then move on. But, so, so the, in terms of that, Chris Davis... Uh, I, I, I like to focus on those bosses because when any shinobi transforms, they become more powerful and they get their health back. And so I try and like fucking wombo combo the bosses. I try to hit them out as quickly as possible so they can't transform. Mm -hmm. And to do that, you need to either keep them in a combo or use your special abilities, which do a bunch of damage. Mm -hmm. And so I'll usually go after the, the mob to, to gain up that special ability to earn like the scrolls you need to do your special moves and then go after the bosses to try and just combo them to death uh, because the bosses definitely hit a lot harder than the mobs. Uh, and, and so that's kind of like a, it's kind of give and take. And so sometimes towards the end of battles, I'll, 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 
I'll focus more on like either eliminating the mob and then just trying to just kill the bosses off in one hit because then I because you can kind of lose track of them mm -hmm. when there's like 40 enemies on the screen you're like wait which one is it they usually look a little different but sometimes it can be hard to tell yeah uh one thing i don't do enough in this game is lock on there's like a lock on mechanic that i like never use mm -hmm. yeah. probably don't need it that much yeah i don't it's, know i am playing I mean, when you're these. fighting like you know a hundred but you did see me you on? did see me do that one special and i hit nothing because i wasn't locked mm -hmm. on i don't know anyway but wait, do you, wait, do you do you think it would be better if there were respawning mobs? You were constantly hitting something, or um, not necessarily. Just just because the uh, you do still, even when you're fighting the bosses, gain up that special meter. So I, I I'm glad that they don't respawn. What's let up? Me, Brad? Let me ask some. Let me. Let me uh, okay, this is kind of moving on from this topic, but it's somewhat related. I have a question for Chad, and I don't mean to get too controversial, but I noticed this. Like, you'll see threads on NeoGAF all the time where, like, uh, the Western release, they change. I saw something today where they, like, changing some panties on some girl to look less, like, lewd for the Western release or something. And it, it's like, pe certain people get really upset about that, and I understand there's the whole, like, gamer game for social justice warriors. And that's, and that's fine. That's not actually what I'm talking about. That's Star Ocean 5, by the way. My, yeah, Star Ocean 5. My question is, like, like if I were to say, like, you know, you can, you can do stuff with, like, sushi rolls in this game, but why don't they just have, like, big, like, dildos or something, right? Or, like, how come no one's having sex? Like, hey, come on. Don't get, don't, don't go too far. <laughs> like, we want to manhandle their boobs, but we because don't, we don't want a, them to hold a because dildo. Because that will, that will get an adult rating, and the, people won't buy it because they okay. retailers won't sell it. I'm talking about the temperament of the people who like champion this stuff. I'm talking Brad, about this. I'm not talking about this is ratings and stuff. This is a different style. This is not for. This is not a type of game for the people who like to shove dildos up girls. I'm, this I'm, is, I'm not saying like this to be like one of those uh, rapey games where you actually not like, even, not even like have sex game. with these women. I'm just saying like like they make. I mean like there's like like sex doesn't exist in the world of these games, and I'm wondering like. Like, why is that too far? Once again, once again, yeah, not, again. not to offend anybody. Don't change her panties. And especially those people who, uh, you can change their panties in this. Why? Uh, and not to offend anybody or not to say anybody, not start, like, you know, calling anyone out. But this kind of, this is kind of a game geared towards those people who have like body pillows and kind of that sure. mentality. But I mean, and, are, are, are you telling me some of the people that are buying this game aren't kind of using this for jerk-off material? The truth is, Brad... You do realize that, that the internet has a lot more to offer than that. I know, yeah. but some people you prefer this stuff as, like, their jerk-off material. I mean, like, are you... I mean, I'm sure there are people out there who jerk off to something. Like, I'm sure everything yeah. out there, someone... I'm sure someone's jerked off to a head crab. You know, no. but I, I'm, 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 I just, this is not that type of game, Brad. This is the, it wants to ride the edge. It wants to, you know, edging. It wants to edge the, the, the whole time. The truth is, is that video no, no games climax. as a medium have never really, like, handled sexuality in a very, like, serious or, like, well-articulated manner. I know. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying I feel and like there's, there's no, no contradiction, contradiction to any more because... Mm -hmm. You know, if you if you put sex if you try to talk about sex in any like real way in your game, like if you try to put sex in mechanically in your game, you're not gonna be able it, to. It, you're not gonna be able to market the game. You're not gonna be able to stream it on Twitch. You're not gonna be able to. J and J fifty two has a point. The, people don't want to watch other people fuck their waifus. I'm like, not. <laughs> I'm not saying I don't want. There, I don't want the player to be able to like fuck these characters. I'm just saying it's weird. There's this weird contradiction where like people like. You don't cover up my women coming to the West, you know? Like, like, like I want them to wear the most shameful shit or whatever, but at the same time, it's like, whoa, but don't go too far. Like, this isn't about sex. I just want freedom yeah. of speech or something. <laughs> it just seems so fucking weird. I, I don't know. Well, hey, that's... No, the, the thing, okay, you're, the thing you're not Dude, mentioning... we've been talking about this game for so long. Yeah. The thing you're right. not mentioning about the Star Ocean 5 thing yeah. is that they were already planning to change that. Yeah, no, the, the, they're changing it for Japan too. Yeah, like, like they but, said, but everybody is still blaming the West. Mm -hmm. like, what? No, it's talking to Chris Davis. So, uh, but one thing I will say about this game, uh, no, I was saying click on that link. Yeah, uh, is is uh, what what. Um, and one okay. of my another issue with this game is is the last game. There's a lot of different like lingerie you can uh, you can customize your characters with. 
this game that there's like a hundredth of that. They still have like a hundred something like lingeries that you can get, but they're just like five different lingerie with different patterns, color palettes on them. And like I actually had a lot of fun in the last game playing the lottery and unlocking new new lingerie. You were having a lot of fun with that. But in this game, it's fucking boring as shit because you keep unlocking the same thing with like, oh, this one's camo, this one's striped, but they're all the same fucking thing. I don't know. I honestly I I I barely even touched like lingerie in this game. I just fucking put funny outfits and like It might just be that you haven't unlocked the proper set yet. Like I'm saying, like you play like a lottery where you unlock just random lingerie. And all the ones I've unlocked have been the same shit. Okay. I don't know. We we need to stop talking about this game. We need to we need to take a break. Well, t- to be fair, I wasn't specifically. I I realize game, I but... realize, bro. I know what you're talking about. I realize. Uh, but yeah, let's let's uh, yeah, let's take a break. a break, and then we'll come back with the news and community and whatnot. Don't go anywhere. You can go wherever Beep. you want. Actually, oh. you can do whatever you want. This is a free country. Beep. Welcome, welcome back, guys, to, to, to Banjo and the gang. It's actually pretty good. Um, so news. Who's got some news for us? Uh, Nothing. Well, happened. mine thing's up there, but it's it's not it's not even like... To say Valkyrie Profile 3 and more is a little like... maybe Might be getting some people's hopes up in chat. Um, well, what are you getting our hopes up with, Brad? Well, so Trice... So one of the reasons I wanted to talk, wanted to talk about this okay. is because I remember last year we had a news topic... Where, like, Trice was bought by some mobile company, and I was all like, oh, well, that's it for them. Mm -hmm. But, you know, now they're shipping Star Ocean 5. Yep. You know, which is a real fucking game, and it's coming out soon. So they say. And and the the director was being interviewed, and Trice also does the Valkyrie Profile series, which was, it's sort of, it, it was never a huge RPG series, but it has a very devout following. It's kind of like this underrated, underplayed, those games are like super rare and expensive. Uh, there was one on the PS1, there was one on the PS2, and they were kind of, you know, straight up asking him, like, you know, is there any future for this? And he's like... He's like, I got the, uh, I already have like the pitch on my, you know, computer right now. So it, it it sounds like they want to go forward with another Valkyrie profile game, which is really cool it, because it, like who would have ever thought? That's one of those situations where it's kind of, I don't remember what I brought up a couple weeks ago, but it's like, he, oh, I brought up Young Justice, Young Justice Season 2. Uh, or season three or whatever. Three. Right, yeah, season three. It's just because he wants to do it doesn't mean it's going to happen. Yeah. True. It's yeah. one of those situations. True, but but the re- the reason I think it's like maybe kind of possible is because I honestly didn't expect the Star Ocean game ever to get made, especially after they were yeah. bought by this mobile game company. But he kind of insinuated that the chance of this happening might be tied to the success of Star Ocean 5. So it's kind of one of those things where, like, if Star Ocean Five sells pretty well, mm-hmm. then maybe Valkyrie Profile Three will happen. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's it's, it's kind of like um, Beyond Good and Evil, oh, yeah. and uh, it's like that. That untrue. was Ubisoft just fuck, yeah. fucking with if that. If you dude. really it's, want Beyond Good and Evil Two, you gotta buy Rayman. It's, it's like the, it started with Rayman Raving Rabbids, and then it went for every yeah, game every in that generation game. and the next. It's like uh, it's like the Uncharted movie. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone says it's gonna happen, but I'll believe it when it's in my hands. Yeah, like pray to. We'll see. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, what else? What else is in the news? I mean, I have something. Okay. Uh, well, there, there, let me go ahead and mention another story that kind of developed today. Uh, I like how you said I have something, and then you went on to say, "Well, wait, before I say that, I'm gonna say this." Well, you could have just started with the first, the second thing. Okay, fine. Then I'll start just with the second it. thing. So. It's not confirmed officially, okay. but it seems that Defy Media okay. has decided to be the dicks that they are mm-hmm. again, and evidently they are f- they are closing the physical office for The Escapist, and there have been a series of layoffs today. Oh, I, I mean, mean... That always sucks. I think, that's a, I think that's just kind of a situation born of the times, uh, and that, you know, a whole lot more media outlets 
are uh, you know a lot is coming from like Twitch streams and mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. you know companies doing their own streams like you know in in the past you know companies like Naughty Dog would give an exclusive interview to you know this people but now Naughty Dog's just like we're gonna stream on our Twitch channel and you that's it's free you know it it it, it costs less money it costs less time they mm-hmm. don't have to deal with another party uh, you know you said they're closing their physical location that doesn't mean they're dying it just might mean they're doing something where everyone's just gonna it means they got no money well yeah it means they're not making enough money <laughs> yeah. but it's like you know the people that we didn't lay off are gonna work from home or you know you you can a lot of the, a lot of situations like that you know you can do your jobs remotely did you go to the escapist i mean i, I feel like I mean, for, the only, every now and then for Zero Punks. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. That's, only that's, that's the only thing anyone Punk. went to the I mean, escape for a while. Jim Sterling was there, and then he yeah, left. Yeah, I watched then. the Jimquisition. Yeah, yeah, I watched that every month. Uh, Yahtzee and uh, Zero Punctuation was the only good and then, thing and about then extra the escape. I never watched Extra Credits. Extra Credits was credits. pretty decent. It, that's oh, pretty decent is the thing. I, it's, and it's, it's, I mean, again, it's, it's a commentary show. It's just one of those situations where Zero Punctuation... Which I'm sure, it, I mean, it's one of, it, that didn't need to be hosted on some website. You know, you can do that via YouTube. You can do that via, you know, yeah. a Twitch stream if you want. You know, it's one of those situations where one, it's it's just like people keep saying, oh, you know, print is dead. But to an extent, I mean, like how many video game magazines are out there anymore? It's not that they suck. It's not that they're the worst. It's not that they aren't providing content. It's just cost efficiency. Yeah. Uh, you know, certain mediums aren't the way they used to be anymore. Yeah. No, I just, I mainly brought it because, you know, people did lose their jobs. Yeah, no, and that sucks. This is, this is the same company that shut down game trailers last month. Yeah. So. Another um, website where, once again, they, but the, the, that medium is no longer what it used to be. But those yeah. guys are doing their own thing now, and they got a Patreon. It's pretty doing a really the game well done guys. Patreon. Mm-hmm. Holy crap! I but what the, but that's a situation where it's a, almost a blessing in disguise for some people. Yeah. That they might not end up better off yeah. uh, in this new position. You know, there's less overhead. You know, whatever. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Yeah, it's sad. So what what Sorry. was your other topic, Chris Davis? So my topic is a game that Brad actually might be pretty interested in. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was announced cool. last year, and we don't know for certain whether it's coming to the U.S. or not. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's called City Shrouded in Shadow. It, Wait, what? It's it's interesting. So Wait, you we've for, talked you, about this. I, that's what he said. Well, okay. So okay. to recap for people who don't know, I don't it's know. from the I developer nice. Granzella. Mm. Granzella are the developers of the Disaster Report series. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. This, we, was, this was in Brad's new trailer talk. Yeah. Right. Uh, Why well, didn't do? No, no, no. That, that was, was a different. Th- one. That was that wasn't this game. That's the uh, the actual next disaster report. Oh, game. Okay, okay, yeah. never mind. They're okay. doing this also. So oh, this okay, is cool. this is kind of a spin-off title. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's basically disaster report, mm-hmm. but the idea is that instead of it being like a natural disaster, mm-hmm. it's a giant monster attack in a city. Hmm. And, I'm sorry. This is. This is not news. You just wanted to talk about this game. Well, Wait, yeah, weeks no. ago. Well, that, no, there's, that there's little, been news that developed. Beyond. That spinning logo uh, is weird because it says live, but then when it spins around, it says evil. Ooh. Because when it was backwards, and so if you read it in that direction, it read evil. It says a lot. But what does it mean? But the, That's a good question. I was going to say the interesting thing is that they are starting to incorporate a lot of third-party like IPs into this. Is this Fight Club? They have confirmed that the game is going to feature Ultraman. What? Yeah, Ultraman. They have confirmed that it's going to have Godzilla. Okay? That's interesting. And they are heavily, heavily hinting that it's going to feature Evangelion. Hmm. As these monsters that are destroying this city... And That's you're, another series you're just like seen. a couple. Look, look at the footage right here. You're just uh, uh, some people that are trying to escape with their lives, mm-hmm. and the monsters will actively attack so, civilians. So, in, in that and, regard, you're you're not controlling any of these monsters. You're trying no, to survive. You're trying to survive in this environment. Wait, so, like so, so, so Ultraman is attacking the city? I, I don't know. Yeah. Ultraman sure. wouldn't attack the city. Well, I mean, you're just. I mean. It's kind of just the fallout so of it's, it's Ultraman a, fighting some monster. Yeah. yeah. So okay. So yeah, that, that you're, it's a different perspective. It's not you're not watching it from this is Ultraman fighting something and you're oh. controlling Ultraman, or whatever. You're in the fallout of all the shit yeah. happening. Yeah. It's almost to an extent like the beginning of Batman versus Superman with the whole like Bruce Wayne running yeah. around. Um, you mean the Metropolis, third act of Man yeah. of Steel? Yeah. 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 Metropolis as. To- 
you know, you're from that perspective. That's interesting. I like oh, that's that. That's cool. I yeah. think it's a I mean, those really games cool are already games. pretty cool, so I think mm -hmm. this And there's, there's be, even yeah. more hints of more IPs coming. But the, more, the more IPs that come to it, the harder it is to that get for it to focus. Yeah. To, 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 sim to kind that, of similar to Disaster Report, where you could be running around and a bridge would collapse yeah. or a building would fall. I can imagine you running around in this game and all of a sudden, like, Godzilla's foot yeah. just, like, lands mm -hmm. next to you and crushes yeah. some people. But I would suggest that this is being published by Ban on Amco. Mm -hmm. Last year they published the Godzilla game. Uh -huh. Okay. I would imagine the Ultraman license, since it isn't that common over here, it wouldn't be that hard to port. Yeah. So I think there's a decent chance we might get this game. Uh, I'm surprisingly interested in it. Yeah, I do. It sounds like it would be pretty cool, fun. I'd. Uh, and, yeah, and so, in, anyway, in, in other news. Because I forgot to bring it up at the beginning of the podcast when we were talking about things we were doing outside of video games. I started watching Naruto because y'all advised me to. <laughs> oh, what? Naruto? Yeah. I don't know if anybody said you should watch this. Uh, but we multiple, were talking... pe multiple people said oh. I should watch it, including people in chat as well. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I'm like a few episodes. I'm like maybe five episodes in. Oh, it starts slow. It's yeah. like it, starts, it starts annoying. Dude, it's one, it's one of those things where like I watch an episode and there's like ten minutes of content. Like the other, the other like ten minutes is them replaying the last four minutes from the previous episode, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden, halfway through the episode, they do a flashback yeah. to the previous episode. Oh, they, you, they you love get into that. Yeah, you Dante get into that arcs a lot. Where like it's a twenty-two minute episode, but the only new content is about like ten minutes. Yeah, and that sucks. Yeah. And, and Naruto as a character will always be as stupid as he is right now. Oh, he's he gets, pretty he dumb. Gets, his voice gets a little deeper, and he gets a little less. Like, you should have said he will sometimes. always be as stupid as he is now believe it that is he, the most fucking annoying too, goddamn watching line. It in english are you watching english or yeah okay he stops the believe it shit now oh, god damn it yeah he stops that pretty quickly actually i think this is why i hate um, nerds because you can't even mention that you watch the show without other people going wait you should have watched another hold, 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 hold on there's all these people saying i should so should i stop watching naruto yeah no, don't watch one punch that. man instead and, I, and 100 other I anime would, Okay, I would suggest because granted, I have one I barely watched any Naruto. Are there? Like, like thirty? 10? No, there's more than that. There's like twenty or something. I don't remember. But I Go think show. it'd be easier on you if you only watch a certain set of Naruto, mm -hmm. and then just time jump to. Like, I never planned on watching the entire thing, and that's what was brought up to me last week was to watch yeah. the oh, X amount of episodes and, and then skip it, the filler. But in the meantime, it might be good to watch another current show like One Punch Man. Mm -hmm. You know. Because I mean, the, well, I, I'm not easy. necessarily saying don't watch Naruto. Naruto's JoJo, easy because it's but that's on a Netflix. very long series. Yeah. I can You're, watch Naruto when I'm in bed or something. Yeah. It's, on, it's easy. Like something like One Punch Man, while not difficult to watch because I can just pull up the website on my computer because it yeah. just streams on whatever that website is because I have it bookmarked. I've watched one episode of One Punch Man. Blah, one Punch Man. Uh, but uh, but yeah, it's just, it's anything on Netflix is so fucking easy to watch. Yeah. yeah. Don't tell us to these Archer season six came yeah. out. You know, One Netflix. Punch Man might be delightful, but that doesn't mean it's not worth and worth watching. Rock Lee fight Gara. Dude, yeah, that's fucking awesome. You should just or no no the the Rock Lee fight where he gets means. drunk and he's like doing the drunken boxing shit. Yeah, yeah but wouldn't so cool. wouldn't it be better? There, there are to, a lot of really cool moments. I mean, wouldn't it be better though to skip to those moments? No, well, honestly, well, I think it's one. Of, hold on, it's one of the situations where you you mention this this guy fighting this other guy, and that means nothing to me. Yeah, I have no yeah. loyalty to the characters. I don't care about them. Yeah, and you're that's probably not even far enough to have anybody introduced besides Naruto and his squad. Yeah, I know. I know the three people, and then that that one guy that they're with with the Kikashi. eye patch. I guess. Should. Dude, Kakashi is kind of a badass. Okay, he's crazy. That's the last episode yeah, I watched was just, the one with the. A fucking horrible kind of filler esque episode with some little kid who was upset because his fake dad died. Kanahamura. I guess so. It was a horrible episode. He didn't believe in heroes anymore. Dude, just power through. There are really cool moments. The ninja fights. Cooler than the ninja fights in Daredevil. My only two. problem so far with Naruto has been how the fuck do you believe anything? Like, it's like, oh, we're fighting. I got you. That was an illusion. I got you. That was an illusion. I got you. I'm like, what oh, the fuck? What what is isn't an illusion anymore? Of law, dude, yeah. you, yeah. haven't even, you haven't even seen anybody who, like, there are there are characters in that show who use, like, genjutsu where all it is is about just, like, like taking control of people's minds and, like, putting them in illusions and shit. Oh like, there are entire episodes where it's like, yeah, I don't know. So you it haven't seen anything. It was all an illusion. Oh you haven't God. seen anything yet. 
Illusions, it, Michael. It, illusions. I, th- I think I'd be able to sit down and watch Naruto if there was a, a Team Four Star abridged version of it. Yeah. Or an That's, equivalent there. Yeah. I want the an anime fan watch? to explain to me in what? detail why Conqueror isn't cool. I don't Dude, know what Conqueror that means. Awesome. Is that a Naruto character? Mm-hmm. He's a Naruto. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's a, but One Punch Man. But One Punch Man. He's a ninja that uses these like really elaborate like marionette puppets to fight. It's re- he's really weird, but he's okay. cool. All right. Well, anyway, we should, we need to move on from that. Any any I didn't realize that was going to spin off into that. Yeah. I just wanted to bring up that I started watching it, and it was it's kind of open. That wasn't really a news topic. That was more of a four player minute topic. I guess I could have brought it. up. I, I meant to bring it up earlier in the episode. Anyway, moving on. Yeah. Moving on. Any other news topics anybody wanted to bring up? Nope. No. Cool. Particularly big. Nope. Cool. Then uh, we can move well, on to the community. Too late, Chris Davis. You missed your chance. Community. Woo. Best part about the show because it's all about you, the community who we love and we love talking about and spending time with. Um, it, it is still for the next couple days, uh, March. So, our support of the month is still Prince of the Universe. Uh, I think I'm the only one so far who's played his game, but here's the thing, community any of you can play his game because it is free as long as you have a computer that turns on. Probably run it on like a fucking Windows ME computer. Uh, Dita Castilia. Um, yeah, uh, I, I I might play a little more of it. The only downside is, is every time you play, you gotta start from the beginning. So oh, really? I, yeah. Oh, it's it's an old what school is this, game. A flash game? I I feel like I just don't believe that. There's got to be a way to make it. To is there a code you can like enter? save Not states to my or something knowledge, like that? No. Oh, that's weird. Dude, how about you? You know what, Brad? How about you to believe it? How about you download it and play it? Well, I I I think I might because I'm off tomorrow. There you go. I don't know oh, if I'll yeah. remember the name of it. And, you, and you've been God. looking for a game to play. Stream it. Stream it tomorrow, Brad. Stream like an hour. When I say it. looking for a game, it's more like a game from the 90s, maybe. This <laughs> looks the, like it's from the 90s. Or the early 2000s. It looks 2000s. like and plays like it's from the 90s. There you go. Perfect. Exactly what you need. There you go. <laughs> um, we will be so picking a new supporter of the month before the next podcast. So uh, tune in next podcast to find out who that might be. It could be you. Except for all of you who aren't supporting us. We still love you, but you, you can't be you. Uh, speaking of supporters, we got two new patrons Woo! since the two. last podcast. Two Fuck of them. Fuck you. Uh, Samin. S-A-M-I-N. Semen. Nope, that's Semen. not not even close. <laughs> Samen? I would, I would have said Samen. S-A-M-I-N. Samin. M-I-N. Samin. Samin. That's what I said. I don't know. Uh... We appreciate you. And uh, Robin uh, Turvoma. Turvoma is the oh, uh, there you go. community cool. member. Uh, so we appreciate you. Thank you for supporting us. Uh, it, it means the world. We actually got a few more uh, subs last night, including uh, from a YouTuber named Smarty. Nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is he smart? That's pretty cool. Or does he like Smarties? I have no idea. Okay. But he's a YouTuber and he seems like a pretty cool guy. Cool. All right, uh, time for questions. Questions are community members, uh, or from our patrons, rather, uh, who are community members. Uh, so the first question this week comes from Liam. He says, what is your true palate cleanser Shortful game? Liam, by the way. <laughs> what is your true palate cleanser game? Is it a genre or a specific set of titles? Ever since I saw Inazuma 11 and Fire Emblem on a trailer talk, I've fallen in love with a series that I can not I can always fall back on for straightforward tactical fun. Uh, I mean, palette cleansers for me are generally like roguelikes. You know, so FTL, Rogue Legacy, Spelunky, Crypt of the Necrodancer, those kind of games where I can, you know, Binding of Isaac, where I can just, if I don't know what the fuck to play and I'm not in the mood to play any of these modern games, I'll just boot one of those up and do a couple of runs. Because you can always have fun doing it. You know, you you might get farther than you think, even though you're rusty. It's just, I always, you know, they always end up, you know, all those games have great music. That's one of the surprising things about those games is they're all their music soundtracks are really good. Um, I and even I think this past weekend, like I had I had played I had just finished playing something and I was like, eh, it's not exactly bedtime. I'm just gonna fucking do a couple of Crypto the Neko Dancer runs. Um, these days I, sorry, one of you talk. Sorry. These days I feel like I I don't have this game. In fact, I'm kind of looking for it currently. Mm-hmm. I need a palette cleanser How about you, so uh, bad I right now. I gave you a code for Crypto the Neko Dancer, Brad. No, I know. I, I, I have it on my, installed on my Vita. I've tried playing it, but I'm just really bad at it. 
Um, well, you know how you get better at it. I'll say this. Know. Roguelikes aren't like that for me. Really? They're not like good relaxation, palate cleansing. I didn't say games. relaxation. I know, but but like I don't I don't I don't become zen with that type of game or anything. It's just not it's always kind of stress for me. And, mm-hmm. and if I'm looking for a power palate cleanser, I need something that I can kind of shut my mind off and play. And I don't have that right now. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of looking for that. Mm-hmm. Maybe like a racing game or something. You know, th- those Dude. are those are very good. I was gonna say mine. Mine is normally Rocket League. Hmm. I I do a lot of Rogue Legacy and uh, lately a lot of uh, um, what's it called? I don't Bro know. Force. Ah, yeah, you've been playing that a lot yeah, lately. Bro it's Force. a good game. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's fun. It's engaging, but it's like so mindless. You can just like sit there. Like if I just want to be like, are those playing levels a game? randomly generated? No. They mm-hmm. seem like it. Yeah. They, they look like they are, but they're not. But, um, yeah, normally if I have nothing better to do, I'll just play Rocket League. Rocket League is so fucking good. <laughs> for for me, it's uh, usually Civilization V. Because, I mean, I've probably put 500 hours in that game, and it's just, that's probably like a dozen games. I mean, to the, pe- to the people who like that style of game, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it will it will just suck away your time. Do you know uh, what? I'll two- also play a, a, quite a few stealth games, you know, like. Splinter Cell, Dishonored, of course, like that. Splinter. Do you know? I, what, I love good stealth games. Do you know what two games just got like a stealth release on the Vita? Hmm. XCOM. Oh yeah, I saw the XCOM did. XCOM, Enemy Unknown, or Enemy Within. Within. And Civilization Civ Rev Two. Yeah. Also what? on the Vita. Civilization Revolution. Is. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if that version's any good, but it's it's, it's, it's a Civ game on the Vita, which is kind of crazy. The, the catch with Civilization Revolution Two was that it was a mobile game, so it's a port of a mobile game. But All right, moving on. Next question from Live at the Milky Way. I read an article recently that claimed first-person shooters to be the ultimate video game experience because of the way it puts their player into a run-on sentence. What? Uh, no, I just... <laughs> it's a run-on sentence. The way it puts the player directly into the body of the character and lets us see through their eyes. While part of me agrees, I can't help but be reminded of the features FPS games often lack, like storytelling, choice-making, tactics, and exploration. I want to know what you guys think. What type of gameplay offers the fullest representation of video games' potential? Very long and oddly worded question. Essentially, some people are claiming that first-person shooters are the ultimate video game experience. Maybe like a first-person view, I I think it's what they're suggesting. Yeah. Right? But but he's... They say shooters, but I think what the writer of the article probably means is first-person first person person experience. Yeah, but there are first-person experiences that are more like in depth, like a you know, like like a Metroid Prime or like a System Shock Two does have like story and exploration. Something like stuff. a Fallout. Where yeah, you like can a play Fallout. the whole game first person. And, and yeah. there's, I mean, the first-person perspective is just a way to view a game. Really, yeah. I mean. It's just a different way to play. And, I mean, there are games like the Stanley Parable. Mm -hmm. That's not a shooter, has nothing to do with guns, and it's a complete narrative-driven experience of player choice. Mm -hmm. And I think it's less about view and more about storytelling and how you interact with the game. I think some excellent, excellent first-person games have had very, very good stories. Like what, Chris? Yeah, name one. Go. Well, a good one's Dishonored. (laughs) Good story. I enjoyed. I really enjoyed that the story. Was okay story. I like the gameplay more than I like the story. I mean, Firewatch. Corvo was a very Fire, meh character. For Firewatch me. is a good example. But yeah. For, for, Gone for, Home for, is a good for, example for me. Uh, a game that I really enjoyed that wasn't first person is something like The Last of Us. Yeah. yeah. Because that's something where I was really fucking pulled into the story mm-hmm. and I cared about the characters. And even though a death in that game was met with a reload from last checkpoint, I still didn't want to die. Like, yeah. I, like, it's one of the, I, I think, honestly, story is way more important when it comes to, you know, uh, pulling you into the game and, and, and kind of, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, the assumption I, by the original writer, it, it seems like a weird one. I don't buy it at all. Yeah. At all. Story, is, story is not limited by the perspective in which you're playing the game. Correct. At all. Uh, all right, ne- moving on. Next question from Zerby. Name a game or Zerby, franchise Zerby. you want to... You have to say it like a Furby. Not the Zerby. We, we, gotta, we, we can't just stop at McLopa and Pioche. we got to come up with some new ones. I like Zerby. <laughs> All right. Uh, name a game or franchise you want to 
you want to return. Now, name a game you love that would have to die in its place. Ooh, oh, wait. Note cannot be the same series. But does it, it have to be something we also like? Yeah, so uh, now name a game you love that would have to die in its place. Okay. So you'd have to sacrifice a game or series you care about to bring back a different I one. I would sacrifice Final Fantasy games proper for more Final Fantasy Tactics games. I, Damn. Uh, he says it can't be in the same series. Well, is that really the same? It, it's, it's Final the Fantasy! Same All right, fine. I feel like I've answered this, but I totally sacrificed Fire Emblem to get some more fucking Advance Wars. That's a good one. There you go. That's a good one. There you go. Um, I would sacrifice Command & Conquer to get more Parasite <laughs> games. <laughs> Command & Conquer doesn't exist anymore. Uh, They're both sacrificed already. You, you have to pick something that can, exists. Can I sacrifice Assassin's Creed? Does that count? I like that series. That counts if you sacrifice yeah. it. Okay, I would sacrifice Assassin's Creed for Prey 2. For bringing <laughs> you back don't Prey. even know. <laughs> that might not be worth it, man. Prey 2 could have sucked for all we know. It could have been amazing. Could have been. Could have been. Hmm. Tough. I'm going to sacrifice Onimusha to bring back <laughs> Dino Crisis. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what you did, Chris. Can, can, oh, ooh, sacrifice ooh, something real. Ooh, can I sacrifice Grand Theft Auto? Okay. To bring back Red Dead Redemption. What, yeah, ooh. I'll sacrifice all the yeah, Rockstar games fair. to maybe get another bully or something. Oh, another bully! Oh I know, right? God, dude, bully's so good. Crispy, you should play bully. I would sacrifice Assassin's Creed to bring back. I mean, pretty much anything, really. Full Dark here has a good one in chat. Hmm. Sacrifice Mass Effect to bring back Kotor. Proper oh. Kotor. See, but that's a good one. That yeah. is a good yeah, one. That's, that's a good one because I feel like Sophie's something like choice. that would have to happen. Yeah. Although all the mass exoduses, I mean, coming from Bioware these days, Damn. maybe they'll never make something Dude. amazing again. Yeah. I, I would sacrifice They're broken. Civilization games for a new Strike series. God damn it. I would, I would sacrifice Dark Souls sacrifice. for more yeah. Bloodborne. Ugh. <laughs> No, you wouldn't. Jeez. I would, I think. I think I might. I think I think I, I, I could get know. to a place. Play Dark Souls 3 and then tell me I that. I think yeah. I could get to a place where I would. Bloodborne's not even an RPG. Uh, no, Zer no, Zer day, Zerby has a, that wasn't part of the question, Brad. Zerby has another question that let's answer very quickly. Zerby! Na name a movie you want to be a game and the genre, then the genre? He says, then no, what, no what? telltale, please. Wait, what? what name a movie you want to be a game, what genre would that game be? Like oh I would make uh, fucking okay okay yeah, yeah. you know I I would make I, I don't know what's a, what's a new movie that came out recently Ninja uh, Turtles yeah I would make no, Ninja Turtles no, a, okay. a first person shooter you know whatever I, I see because Telltale Games is kind of a cop out yeah okay uh, oh, that's a good question yeah no that I is. would go uh, I would uh, also I don't think you could do any like superhero movies or anything oh yeah. boom yeah, I don't, most most boom! of those have already had games half of movies. <laughs> Yeah, obvious. Obvious. That's, yeah. <laughs> I want, I want a Cloverfield Lane ten, whatever that movie's called, the new Cloverfield, Cloverfield movie, Lane. to be like sort of like a simulation game. Dude, you know what would be kind of cool? Though? There are those. Sir, okay, but that wasn't the question. What about what survive about? in this bunker with John Goodman? <laughs> <laughs> the simulation. Is it a point and click adventure game? Yeah. Well, yeah, simulation, kind of yeah. like a Fallout shelter or something. Yeah. Or The Sims. Oh, I'm trying to think of a good movie I've watched recently. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I would Ooh, want Edge of a Turbo Kid video game. What? And I would want it to be. Huh? Oh, I don't know. what, what who's, genre? Who's Turbo Kid? We really? talked about this movie. We have talked yeah. about it multiple oh, times. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. And I think it could be acceptable either as a Mega Man clone or a Fallout clone. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, God, I'm trying. I'm trying to think of a, a, good, a really good movie I've seen recently. Um, I think Oscar winner Spotlight would make <laughs> would make a great RTS. What? Oh my God! I was trying. To, I was trying. To, I'm like. I'm like. Would the Hateful Eight be a good video game? Dude, uh, that's like a, like a mystery. The witch. As like a first person atmosphere core. Yeah. That'd yeah. be good. That'd be yeah. good. I don't know. Most of the movies I've seen recently have been like video game movies. Yeah. Or like like Batman superhero. versus Superman. They should make a Batman video game. <laughs> 
All right, all right. And that's, that's not too spend too much time. Moving on. So, so I want a Godzilla game that plays like XCOM. Real quick, okay. real quick, What's real quick can I mention Edge of Tomorrow, though? Someone in chat says Edge of Tomorrow would be a third person shooter. But if you think about it, video games are already kind of like Edge of Tomorrow. Because yeah. every time you die, you're you going restart. back in there with knowledge yeah. of what killed you. Yeah. So you're getting better. So every no, video no, game is already Edge of Tomorrow. But doesn't that movie really make you want a sci fi Dark Souls? Like a sci fi yes. Souls? Game? Sure, but that's not I the question. Yeah. No, I know. But all right, Hurt, let's move on. From Michael B. Uh, Michael B. Good. Uh, what is your favorite Easter egg in a video game? Ooh, That's tough. Ooh, that is tough. Especially around Easter. I like... Well, okay, define Easter egg. Dude, any, anything that any the surprise. developers hid somewhere in the game that you have to do something what to find. I'll tell you what oh. I really like. What's up? It's when you know a game's going to get a sequel and the developers put in like a map in there. That shows like where the game's potentially gonna go, mm-hmm. like in Arkham City or, or Asylum, mm-hmm. where they expand that their room in Arkham Asylum was pretty cool. John Romero's head on a spike. <laughs> no, the uh, what was that game? That older game? I can't remember which one it was, but they had a CG <laughs> scene where it was like all the characters playing Dungeons and Dragons. What? It was like if there are any girls there, I wanna do them. <laughs> What? what is that? that? that dungeon dragon, I'm attacking the darkness. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, That's classic, dude. Yeah, that was so <laughs> fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> you see an elf. Whoa. Where are the Cheetos? <laughs> they're, in the, they're next to the fridge. Where's the Mountain Dew? What, what is this? Bonsai Ferret says <laughs> Scooter Brothers. Yeah. Which is a pretty <laughs> damn good Easter egg. Yeah. Yeah. And Why don't you Auto shove 5. your face up Brad's ass a little farther? <laughs> It's a pretty good Easter egg. Oh, Blackheart brings up a good one. The uh, when you're singing the uh, the final countdown when you're in a car in Saints Row Two. Oh yeah, but that's uh, oh, that's yeah. not an Easter egg. But yeah, yeah, but that's not. But that something is you awesome. Expect to find. I like when they're singing the Paul Abdul song in Saints Row. Yeah, that is four. good. Or uh, the fucking God Most, Saints Row. When oh, is that coming back? Right? Well, Don't they have a an lot announcement? Of these, soon? A lot of these are oh, Easter eggs. I think they this have is an just deep. So that's just have Saints Row's cool. Uh, I can't think of any off the top of my head. All right, next question from Timothy. You find a portal that would let you warn your past self from five years ago about anything you want. (laughs) What do you warn yourself about? Now, that being said, time and fate as a way of implementing a worse tragedy in place of what you avoid. In this case... Oh, my God, Chai. In this case, time and fate is decided by Chris Davis. Who will determine your new timeline disaster? <laughs> Good luck. I feel like five years ago, my life was like more or less the same as it is now. Except I'm older. I would go back five years ago. <laughs> no, that doesn't work. I would stop so many terrors. I'd stop Crispy from being on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say I would stop myself, but that was more than five years <laughs> yeah, ago. Yeah, exactly. That was six years ago. <laughs> It's too late. You're, you're given the power of time travel, the power to mold reality, and you want to use it to stop me from being on this <laughs> Five years ago, Man vs. Game Brad. came to me and was like, Brad, be my best I'm friend. Hurt. And I was like, no. <laughs> really? This time I would say yes. No, I'm just kidding. And Brad's uh, punishment would be he has to play through Final Fantasy Tactics Advance all the way through. Um, nah, hey, you know, that game is alright. I would go back five years ago. I don't, I don't think that's enough time. Nope. 2011? Nope. Hold on. Five years ago? I don't Hold even on. know. Like, yeah. What even came out in 2011? What even happened? Maybe I wouldn't let myself get so hyped for Dragon Age Inquisition? Wait, Wait is Lucasfilm no, five publicly years ago. traded? Can you buy stock in Lucasfilm? <laughs> Damn it! That's more than five years ago. Because if you can, I'd go back in time and buy Lucasfilm stock. Because that was before Marvel bought them or <laughs> Disney. Disney. Bought them. Yeah. And I'm sure, I'm sure at the time their stock was like real shit, and then Disney bought them and it probably got good. Is that how money works? I missed the Chris um, Davis part of the question. It, it depends on if if uh, it, it, Chris Davis gets to control the disaster that is going to come out of you changing. The past. An accidental fire happens at Chrissy's place and burns down all his. I comics. would go back in time 
in Kill Chris Davis. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Because then there's no disaster. You realize that Ooh, you that's realize a good my loophole. apartment has more than just my comic books in it, right? There are other people who live there whose lives you would be ruining. But what would yeah, you be would most sad about? If I chose the stereotypical answer, I would kill Chris Davis and steal his master brig computer. <laughs> loophole avoided. It's terrible. I said <laughs> Oculus Rift stock. Oh, God. <laughs> Come up with the idea for VR five years ago. <laughs> that, that Facebook money. Oh, All right. Maybe I would try to woo some like person who becomes famous later. You know, like was Jennifer J-Law. Lawrence up, like a big yeah. big deal five years ago. I think I think I think five years yeah. ago was too late. Oh damn. Yeah, I think so. When did the first Hunger Games come out? Already. Yeah. Oh. I think the first Hunger Games came out in damn like two thousand like ten maybe. Maybe. Also, I don't know. how old was Jennifer Lawrence five years ago? She was uh, a grown up. And she was already acting by then. Because she got her, she got started on the fucking Bill Ingvall show. What the fuck is that? What? Yeah. Well, I, I remember I saw her in... Oh, um, Bill Ingvall, the comedian? Yes, he had his own TV show, and she played his daughter. What was oh the movie what? where yeah. she was trying to find Winter's her... Bone? Winter's Bone. That was a good movie. Yeah. I like that movie. That was, that was kind of like one of her first... That one, and there was that other one with Samuel L. Jackson? No, that was a different one. Think of those, something down the street. Whatever, anyway. A tragic on. accident befalls you in which you lose both your thumbs. <laughs> you Wait, what? Oh, you are is that the catastrophe? Yeah. Yes. But I get to be with Jennifer Lawrence? Is that what that was? <laughs> I don't know. I'm works. telling Malia. But but what if this is like a gift of the Magi sort of thing and she was only with Oh no, I'm sorry, a monkey's paw sort of thing. <laughs> and she was only with you because of your wonderful manly thumbs. Mm. That would suck. Yeah. That would suck so hard. I it's do hard. magical things it's, with my thumbs. It's hard to fist some lady. No! Thumb. no! <laughs> <laughs> the ladies love my thumbs. Uh, all right, moving on. Next question from Michael. What games? Do, was, uh, Michael M. Earlier was Michael B. This uh, is Asian Mike. What games do you think had the best pacing ever? Ooh, you know, I'm gonna say Good like pacing. Uncharted Two Dude, or Resident like, Evil Four. Any any fucking Naughty Dog game is gonna have good Nia's pacing. Really good. Um, Resident Evil Four. Resident Evil Four had good pacing. That's true. I think like a, a sandbox game like a Red Dead or a Grand Theft Auto isn't conducive to that. Okay, I was about to say. Like, yeah, no. Any, any any game where you can kind of do whatever the fuck you want doesn't yeah. have the best pacing because it's hard to steer you down the path. Yeah. Metal Gear Solid? Uh, pretty good. The pacing, original. Yeah. The original. Yeah. Yeah, definitely MGS1, yeah. Did you hear about that stuff that came out with like David Hayter? Yeah. Kind of poo pooing Kojima a little bit. That could bit. have been a story. Good. Yeah. We could have talked about that. Yeah. I forgot about it. Dude, uh, you know, Super Metroid seems to be keeping a really mm-hmm. good pace mm-hmm. of. Dude, old, old school of eking, out, of eking out the upgrades, but mm-hmm. like they're still close enough to get together that you like Dude, just want to keep Fucking Shadow Complex has great pacing. Now that you're playing Super Metroid, is like Shadow Complex kind of like making yeah, more sense saying. in your head, dude? Well, when I when I uh, when I f- the sprint button in Metroid, I was like, oh, would it be cool if you could do that thing like in Shadow Complex <laughs> where you just run really fast and like burst through walls, and then like literally like within the next ten minutes, I got that yeah, upgrade, it. and I was like, oh my god, like, it was amazing. They Good stole game. this from Shadow Complex. <laughs> All right, next question. Uh, Odst. I'm I'll say Odst. Odst. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, from one of our new patrons, Samin, Samin, uh, and what new ways do you think you could improve the racing or fighting game genres so that it would appeal to a broader audience? Okay. Well, I've mentioned this a lot, but I feel like Capcom fighters like uh, street fighter and Marvel vs. Capcom, I think they have a lot of like really good style and good systems and like cool character designs, but they have like no good single player content. And then you have Mortal Kombat over here, which, you know, I don't really care too much about that universe or the fighting systems, but like they really put a lot of effort into like really quality single player content, variety, the story. You know, I want to see these Capcom artists in more technical fighting games start doing more stuff like that for the people who don't just want to go online and get bodied all the time because that's pretty much all you can do in Street Fighter. As far as fighting games, I would say like a very strong tutorial suite. Like that will walk you through every single the aspect of the game. The only problem with that is, is that might turn some people off because they'd be it, like, oh my god, I just want to get how to it. how the pacing for that works. Yeah, no, it's true. Air Guys was a game that Air had Guys. like a straight up dungeon crawling roguelike mode yeah on top of like the fighting game which was really cool just put a little more effort into that shit just because you know you think that someone's just gonna I, play with their I friends think, all the time doesn't mean 
you know, driving games with more silly fun modes. You you need more you arcade know, racing. Yeah, like so you know, something wow. to kind of have fun with it. You know, like almost like you know, you have these serious like racers like Forza and stuff like Burnout. Give them a fucking almost like Mario Kart s multiplayer where you can just have fun yeah. with it outside of the game. But um, Burnout used to have that whole the crash, crash mode, mode. Like the crash yeah. which was yeah, amazing. Like which was the best fucking part yeah, of the yeah, game. The best. Like that shit was cool. All right, yes. moving on. Next question from Sean H. Sean H. Uh, has a plot a development in a video game ever turned you off of the game's story? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Uh, he, he, absolutely, the, yes. Wait, 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 to, has, has a plot development, you know, something that happens in the story of a game, oh. ever turned you off of the game? Yes. Mass I have a three? prime example. Mm-hmm. Uh, L.A. Noir. What part of the, what turned you off exactly? What, what happened to Cole Phelps, badge 1247? God, yeah, why do you know his badge number? <laughs> okay, yeah, I agree with you. And I also agree with Brad's statement of Mass Effect 3. What um, happened to Cool Phelps? Badge 1247? Yeah, I don't know. I never finished that game. Spoiler really? alert for L.A. Noir. Okay, he, they basically throw his character under the bus. They ruin his reputation, they demote him, and then they shift completely away from the character to a whole other one. Yeah. Really? And yeah. then they kill him. Yeah. Then they kill Cole? Then they kill Cole. It's... Why are you spoiling so much of this game? Didn't he? He, he did, did say we, spoiler. He did say spoiler. Yeah. Right? yeah, but like... <laughs> oh, yeah, you didn't wait long they, enough. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, you didn't. You probably didn't have to spoil something so significant to say. Why well, didn't you say exactly what happens to him? Can I we didn't be honest though. It's Ellie Noir. Like I feel like anyone who's mm, play sure, that play, I've probably. Just, and yeah. anyone who hasn't, you're honestly not missing out. <laughs> it's like the first half the of that game, game is just so good. good. Like uh, that's of... that's. Uh, I would say maybe the first fourth of that game is good. Up that through, game is good until you realize that there's no reason for it to be an open world. Up yeah, through the end too. of Homicide is fantastic, in my opinion. Yeah. All right. The anyway. plot development in Heavy Rain really kind of uh, yeah. threw me. Spoiler warning: You are the bad guy. I had to say that to prove to to mention it. So now Wait, you know. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> you don't know who though. You play as a bunch of different people. You're gonna have to find out. Anyway, oh, don't talk about it anymore. Moving on. I said spoiler. Shut up. Next question from SMG There's Sterling. A lot of SMG. Oh my god, SMG. Fuck is you. It, is it a question about the division? Fuck Mary Kill. Donald Trump, Bernie Sanders, Hillary Clinton. Mm. I'd probably fuck Hillary Clinton. Mm. Well, I married Bernie Sanders and I killed Donald you, Trump. That's I'm, really I'm easy. That's, Brad. I'm that's the Brad obvious here. answer. That's really this easy. I that, mean, that's there, the only way to do it. There's because... no other answer. <laughs> that's yeah. really easy. Bernie is the oldest. He's going to die the soonest. Yep. You he... get to kill Donald Trump. Win-win. Yeah. Like, to kill Donald Trump, like, if you had to have sex with Hillary Clinton in order to have the opportunity to kill Donald Trump, like, completely scot-free with impunity, that that that's a deal I can handle. That's a bargain I can handle, I think. I agree. I'd fuck them all. Fuck <laughs> Is that, well, I mean, you're is that an option? Candidate you're, you're, you're married to Bernie, so I'm sure <laughs> there would be some sex involved. You, you, you would fuck Donald Trump even with his tiny hands? Really? Does he have tiny hands? Is that a thing? He has baby hands. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, yeah that's Don't cool. trust anyone with baby hands. Yeah. He, he, he's like, uh, he's like uh, Deadpool when he has his little... Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, moving on. Uh, uh, he, he he does say alternatively, if you wish to stay away from politics, fuck Mary Kill, Batman, Superman, The Flash. I'd fuck them all. Well, you can't kill. Superman, oh Jesus! Yeah. So I mean, <laughs> with this situation, Kryptonite you have dagger. the opportunity to Kryptonite kill the Flash. What? Fuck you. Why? I mean, why the Flash? He's useless. No, nope. I'm vetoing this question. Useless. Moving on to the next question. Excuse from me? Nick the Batman. He's fucking useless. Nick from Batman. Nick the Batman, he asks, what is the worst thing you have ever eaten? Uh... Probably uh, something for ape tit. Yeah, we had these really horrible durian wafers this one time. <laughs> oh god, uh, was no. that was that worse than the habanero pepper? No, you know what the it worst was, was? It was um, the durian. Paste. What was the durian paste? was pretty bad. Uh, uh, Vegemite, Mar marmite. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, Vegemite. Vegemite. Dude, Vegemite wasn't that bad. No, no, no. no. The worst was when we did that fucking the beans video for yeah. for Patreon, and I was like, oh, I'll just I'll just squeeze a bunch of Vegemite in my mouth. It'll be really funny. And then I did that, and 
instantly regret it. Oh, the be- the <laughs> Bean Boozled were pretty bean bad. Bean Boozled was pretty bad. Dude, and I don't, the Durian was just bad because every burp for the next hour oh and a half. God, that lasted <laughs> so long. Brought it back up. <laughs> that like, lasted so long. I, it was the bad. gravy candy? Oh, the gravy. Oh, my God. Oh, gravy candy is oh, worse oh, than oh, Durian. And the, and the corn? The corn? Oh. Candy? Oh. Why do we do oh, this? Broccoli. Oh, broccoli. Oh, oh, broccoli. What? I love broccoli. Broccoli's mine. <laughs> or cauliflower. I actually think cauliflower is worse than broccoli. Well, no one would argue Why with that. Why isn't that the foods that we've... That we think were the worst we ate on this fucking show. Uh, no, that that's true. Why oh is my that? God. Because I normally stay in my comfort Malia zone. When I'm Malia made not. like homemade pizzas with like a cauliflower crust once, and she's like, "Look, it'll be good." I want it to die. <laughs> <laughs> Tried to stab himself with the pizza. All right, moving on. Final question <laughs> for the evening yeah. from an, our other newest patron, uh, uh, Robin Turbo Chat. What TV show would There's make so an many. awesome video game? Uh, ooh, the new TV show with the dude from The Wire, and then Littlefinger, and then the dude from mean? X-Men, Iceman. That TV show would make what a good video game. Agents of about? S.H.I.E.L.D. and fucking Battlestar Galactica. What kind of game would Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. be? I think it would be like a little XCOM-ish. It'd be a shooter. I, could, I guess a XCOM. <laughs> It's a good team. Oh, I just finished watching season two of Broadchurch. The Flash. That'd make a good RTS. Would make an amazing video game. That doesn't count. Why doesn't it what, count? What kind it's of video su- game, though? Superheroes East stuff. We I didn't like say already, superheroes didn't count here. I feel like it doesn't count. Oh, my God. I don't watch that well, much What would you TV. say what kind of game would a Flash game be? Open world. A game where you run fast. It'd have to be it'd open, be world. open world. So okay. it, traditional it wouldn't be a Sonic awesome. game? You gotta go be. fast. Yeah. <laughs> it, could just be, it could just be an endless runner. Yeah. I think <laughs> Seinfeld would make a great game. <sighs> I would like them <sighs> oh my to God. do... Yeah, I'm trying to remember X-Men Legends? Think of a TV show. Oh, a game about... I liked nothing. X-Men yeah. Legends. <laughs> yeah, game about I'd, I'd like to see like a, a Justice League or a Young Justice version <laughs> of that. That'd that's be kind of cool. That's essentially what that is. There was a Justice League version of that. That's what I'm there saying. Was? It doesn't count. It was on PS2. It was called Justice League... Something and it wasn't very good. Okay, well I didn't know. It came out around the same time that uh, Marvel Ultimate. Alliance I'm just saying, yeah. choosing comic book stuff kind of kills the spirit of the question. No, no, it doesn't. Uh, okay. it doesn't. So that's the only thing I've been watching. Recently. I really like the Batman animated series. Could, that would make a could good I make video a game. Cooking Mama style game, uh, sure. uh, like a Cutthroat Kitchen. <laughs> there you go. Now you're thinking. Yeah. I want to say that actually exists. Really. I something Dude, like it that could be for a the multiplayer. DS. DS. But but can you imagine Alton a multiplayer cooking be. mama that was like cut through a kitchen, where you're actually playing against other people? I could believe that happening. That'd be cool. But Alton Brown has to be in the game. Oh, Alton cool! Brown. Totally, dude. I was thinking about that actually yesterday. You did. Someone always asks what celebrities you would want to meet. I'd really want to meet Alton Brown. Yeah. He seems yeah, like he's, he's really intimidating. Cool. He's, you know, he's so smart, right? He's he is super fucking smart. He's doing his tour uh, right now. He's doing his tour. Yeah. None of them. None of the stops are in Texas. No. It's crap. Yeah, what a yeah, Portlandia it does game. Suck. He got kicked out of Texas. <laughs> Portlandia. He plays all the different characters. Mm-hmm. The Shield dude, would be a pretty he good just, he, game. He just seems like a fucking cool dude. Any interview I've ever seen with him when he's like, in a, as a person, not as his like a TV persona, he just seems like he's so fucking laid back. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. I'd like to see an Archer video game. What would that be? It, that seems like it just be telltale like a, game. Yeah, somehow a comedy be, telltale game. Anyway, like a third person shooter. Anyway, but, you know. that's all the questions for this week. Thank you to all of our patrons who asked questions. That's a lot of questions. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of good questions this week. Yeah. Uh, any of our patrons are able to ask us questions for the next podcast. We'll post a thread pretty soon. You can go on Patreon and ask them there. All right. So now crispy. Oh my Crispy. god, I forgot we did this. Yeah, oh, is going to oh, ask oh, us oh, some oh. a few questions. We got some. Let a Let's few? only do. Two, two, maybe, okay, we'll and we'll two. try and do them quickly. I, okay, so not I, you. I'm I've just saying. Been, no, no. I've only been. Uh, I've, I've only been looking for ones that say video games. So okay. I, I hope that these are all uh, ones that we haven't done yet. Uh, okay, so who wants to go first? Hey, no, no, no. I'll go first. You know what? Chris Davis will go first since he's not normally here for okay. this. Okay. Chris Davis, you know the rules, right? Yes. Okay. You're all familiar with how yes. this played. Okay. Chris Davis, can you name two video games in which a bird plays a role? A bird? A bird. I could do two. Plays a role. You can do two. 
Nolan, would oh. you like to meet him with three? Three. I'll do four. Four. Oh, f- Pass. I'm losing my mind right now. You can't do five? Yeah, sorry. I'll do five. Nolan will do five. <sighs> I'll do six. God damn it. I guess I'll do seven. Damn it. I mean, I don't know what. See, this is where, I, this, is where this game falls apart. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I'm going to do eight. God, oh, fuck that. Go. All right. Banjo Kazoo. Banjo Tooie? No, you no, can't. No, no, that's no. Not, fuck. That's a serious. Fuck. Movie. Come on. Come on. You know. Sega All Star Race? <laughs> what? With Banjo Kazoo. <laughs> well, okay, okay. Um, uh, Final Fantasy. Okay. Can How many do I have to do? S- seven. Eight. No, seven, seven. Better. Yeah, no, no, he, he did say eight. He did say I eight. said seven, you said eight, and yeah. I said fuck that, go. I don't you think do that's eight. what happened. Wait, a bird in Final Fantasy in what context? A chocobo. A chocobo? chocobo? Okay, okay, There's okay. bird enemies? Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Final Fantasy is going to be one of the ones I said. Star Fox. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Um, sure. 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 There's a bird in uh, Earthbound. Okay. Or yeah. Mother okay. 3. Um, I mean, yeah. There is a bird in... Almost every game in the world. Yeah, I mean, there's a bird in... The Legend of Zelda. Yeah. The, the Which one? I'm gonna go with Link to the Past. You play the Ocarina and the Bird. You could also say Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword. Or yeah, a Ocarina of Time. Bird. Uh, three more. There's a bird in. Stop looking around, Brad. Stop <laughs> looking around, Brad. Children of Mana. <laughs> Why do I have a buzzer to that? Fine. I don't have to look around. There is a bird. You kill birds. Symphony of the Night. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's birds in Diablo. Crows. And, That's uh, what I'm saying. There's like almost every game in the world. Do they play a role in the yeah. game, though? Or are they just part of... They're enemies. Back? Enemies are role. Okay. Enemies <laughs> are <laughs> a role. Okay, uh, give me one excuse more. Excuse me. One more game where your bird... Uh, Sesame Street, the video game. What? Fuck you. Uh, there's not a, <laughs> such a game. All right. Fine. They've all had Jerk. subtitles. What's a game where you play as a bird? For the last one, I'll, let me give you a genuine... Game where you play as a bird. Ten seconds. What? We need <laughs> ten seconds. I've named seven like ten, nothing. Nine, eight, seven. Bird and Borderlands. Six, what? five, oh, four, three, two. Bird. There's bird. a bird in Resident Evil. <laughs> There's birds. There's birds. The crows that break through the glass. It's pretty. Like okay. significant part of that Dude, game. Yeah, it's I was, very scary. There's, there's okay. plenty of other games. I guess games. specifically Resident okay. Evil 2, but yeah. Of course okay. there's plenty of other games. I was thinking of, uh, yeah, hi, um, okay. whatever. Uh, hi, Avian Hito, Etern- Foil, Attorney? Well, yeah, no, Hito Avian Hito Eternity. Hito I was, uh, Hito Hito Attorney. Hito Hito Hito. Yeah, I was thinking there was there's a bunch. That's what I'm saying. I just didn't want to fucking name that many. All right, okay. next one, Crispy. One more. All right, we'll, we'll go with Brad since he so violently conquered that one. Hey, I named eight. That was tough. Brad, I know. I'm just, come on. Don't, Don't patronize me. I'm not. I am. Go. Okay. Uh, give me two video game characters. Two video game characters. Characters with electrical powers. I can. I can do two. I'll do three. I'll do four. I'll do five. God damn it. These can be from the same series. No, you can't. That's. Uh, but I mean, they're no, different no, no, characters. No, this one. This one. If there's multiple characters. But they have to be like unique characters. Okay, okay. They can't I'm, be I'm, like... I'm at five. I'm at five. Okay, okay. Chris Davis? I can only do three on top of my head. Sorry, I can't. I'll do six. I pass. I just want to give Nolan a shot. Although oh, I can fuck you. Do seven. Uh, you could say uh, Cole from Jim? Infamous. Absolutely. Uh, I could just name uh, like 30 Pokemon since they can be from the same series, apparently. Well, well. Mm. It's. Pokemon, that's, okay. Well, you said if that. That's what I'm saying. I don't if like. If they've that ever can... been in the game together, that does a single game together, <laughs> you can only do one. Well, where is this fucking rule coming from? Well, all I of mean, a sudden? fine. Pikachu. I'll just do one Pokemon. I mean, okay. that one's kind of a loophole. <sighs> no, because there's been games that are, or in which you specifically play as Pikachu. Like the the mystery dungeon uh, yeah, explorers. That is true. My example was I would have I was gonna say I don't think you would have said this. I would have said Laura, and Blanca. I think that would have counted because Blanca's not even in the new Street Fighter. You I know what so. I mean? That's that's yeah okay. That, but see, multiple like Pokemon things. But but, yeah. but multiple Pokemon is a stretch. I mean, you're talking yeah, you're talking about like hundreds of yeah. Well, and there's not hundreds of electric Pokemon, but yes, dude. Are, if they if they're up to like seven hundred Pokemon, well, if they've I can't 20. name hundreds. I can okay. probably oh. name like ten or fifteen. 
Oh. Uh, could I could I do like a Final Fantasy character mm -hmm. that uses like thunder? I mean, oh, yeah, but they can all use thunder. Yeah, it depends on the game. You can have one Final Fantasy like a mage, character, like a mage well, from Final, like a black I, mage. I, 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 when I when I hear a character who has electrical powers, I, I feel like that is part of the character's characterization. Like that's part of who they are. I okay. always Cole went from Infamous is very much a character with electrical powers. That is all he is. He yeah. has like no character beyond that. May I offer a hint? <laughs> Why? Why? Yeah, there's no. no. Okay. Shut yeah. up. Get yeah. out of here. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Fuck you. Uh, what about Ness? Yeah. PK. PK. Thunder? PK Thunder. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, okay. Uh, another character that uses electric powers. Um, could I? Could I say uh, like from like a Spider-Man game? When you have um, what's his face that I'm now fucking drawing. You got a name. Hold on. There Hold is on. a Spider-Man game where that character. Yes, name I know. Is in the title. Oh, well, there is. Yes. You don't have to name that game. It's it's a PS one game. Oh well, that's why I don't know uh, it. Uh, um, I forgot to play that one. Oh my god, what is his fucking name? I wanted to though. Oh, it's it's so simple, but it's yeah. it's the fucking tip of the tongue phenomenon. I can't. I know what it is, and so my brain's blocking it out. Lightning guy. It's not lightning no. guy. Lightning bolt. <laughs> it's your lightning bolt. Um, Maybe Christy could read the question again. What? The hints in there. What? Wait, what? Read the name. The question. Keep your mouth to yourself. Why are you getting him in? Can you rename the question? Can you restate Stop looking at Jack! No, you can't look at Jack! He's looking at Jack! I'm not looking at Jack. I'm not. I was looking over there. I'm not looking at Jack. I swear to God. Oh, well, here we go. Shocker is not correct. Well, yeah, I know that's not Two video game characters with electrical powers. His name's not in that. His name isn't Electrical Man. It's Electro. Electro. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, as soon which as Spider-Man game was he in? That smells like he was, shit. He, but he, okay. he was in uh, Spider-Man: The uh, there, Revenge of Electro. No, no, there's, that might have been the name. On PS One, there was there was a game. It was like Spider-Man Enter Electro. And name yeah. oh, one. He does in the game. Spider-Man yeah. no, no, no. Enters. I, I want you to name a Spider-Man game <laughs> that you actually know of. Okay. Okay. And then we'll 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 check to make sure he's in there. What? He's in most of them. Uh, he he Spider-Man Two. He's in yeah, Spider Man. Yes, I know he is. Because okay. I played Spider Man too, and I remember fighting him. Yep. Um, shit. Well, how, many did I, how many am I supposed to you fucking do? Six. You have to do six. <laughs> Jesus, because I was going to fucking just do a shit ton of Two Pokemon. More. Two more. I was just going to do a bunch Dude, of Pokemon. But there are, there are plenty of other characters. Yeah. On this wall really here. Dude, it's one of those situations where you're fucking in, in the moment. You can't fucking do it. I know. Because. Just, uh, just let your could. mind go quiet. So I can't, I can't do, well that's, I'm thinking of like RPGs and stuff like that, where you, like, you know, like, like a Souls game where you have plenty of fucking lightning okay. attacks. Okay, 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 just feel the answer come to you. Just, just pluck it out of the ether. It's there, it's floating around. Pluck no. it out of one of One of your favorite series has a villain who has oh. to Oh, oh, you, uh, are you talking about Metal Gear? Just said that in chat though. That's not fair. With uh, what's his? Oh, face? everybody, stop looking at chat. Dude, I haven't been looking at chat this whole goddamn you know time. Yeah, but this motherfucker did, and he oh. just gave you a hint. How do you oh. know that I? How about we do that? There you go. What? Problem solved. What? Oh, well, there you go. Just pull a hint out of Olympus. God, <laughs> God fucking damn it. God damn it. Fine, Zeus. There no, you go. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, what you yeah. said. Really uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, he throws lightning, throws lightning bolts. Lightning, lightning which is like, electricity. Yeah, that's more like he's really good at throwing things. He's not really like electric. Okay, I'll give it to you. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you okay there? Well, good. I'm go, good. Go down the wrong pipe. Um, one good one. Really, two more. I'm just fucking. I, that's why I hate this. Is I'm like, I hate it too. I'm like Nick, and that there are we're certain. Like when, when, like when you were naming off the fucking birds, I was going off all these other ones in my head. But when you're in the fucking moment, I just can't do shit. Yeah. Uh, that's the problem with this game. Yeah, that's why I hate this game. Honestly, I thought okay, I. Okay. Okay. Fine. We'll never play it again after today. Let's just let's just get through this one. Give me. <laughs> One more character has electrical powers, and you never have to do this again. Dude, I just like the biggest fucking blank in my head. Just think of all your favorite video games. That's why. That's a problem. Is because I I keep bouncing around. I'm like, oh, does that game have anybody? No. Does that game have anybody? Does that game? Have anybody? And I just keep fucking doing that, and then I can't think of anything. 
I'm sure there's, I'm sure at home I have 20 games on my shelf with characters that have electric powers, but I can't name them right now because my brain just fucking just goes to shit. Like Crispy said, oh, Metal Gear. And now I'm trying, I'm like, I can't, I can't think of it. I've played every Metal Gear game at least two or three times. But in this moment, I just huge fucking blank. All I can think of is Revolver Ocelot. <laughs> That's all I can think did of he? in this moment. No, he didn't have no, electric no, powers. No, no, I don't think he did, but that was a good guess. I, I know it's not. Uh, uh, Volgan. There you go. Man. Volgan. There you go. Volgan had electric Jesus powers. Christ, can I be done with this now? Okay. You're done. Last one. All right, guys. He's, all right. Right. he's done. He all said right. Zeus. He's, he's so out. much. He's okay. fucking... Three. Four. Five. Well, that okay. was six. No, no, I know. I was counting you out. You were done. Like, How could you not say... Please open the chat. No, that's, about, not, that's what all of the chat's going to be right now. What about Lech Man then, from, uh, from Mega Man? Mega Man, dude, I was trying to think How of about, that. you know, Raiden? Yeah. That's yeah. So yeah, that's, that's, that's that's so obvious. If, if you could give me a list of characters, I could run oh. down and be like, this guy's yeah, I mean, this guy's electric, this guy's electric, electric this guy's electric. And then the stupidest boss fight the past five years is the Electrocutioner. Yeah, but Marvel vs. Capcom 3 has so many characters. I couldn't name one character from that. Name a Marvel character that has electricity. Kind of. Electro. Electro. <laughs> Besides Electro. It has kind of, electricity? Yeah. Uh, in some form. I mean, Thor, right? Thor, Okay, yeah. yeah they, I, the God once of again, Thunder? Yeah. Once again, like, in the moment, I can't think of anything. And I guarantee you, all of chat, if they were put on the spot, they would not be naming 30 characters Storm. off. Storm yeah. and Thor are both in Marvel's There you go. Three. Fucking... It's just so goddamn hard when you're put in that situation. Yeah. Gwen from Dark Souls 1? See? Oh, uh, Solaire, right? Couldn't he do lightning spears? But that wasn't his primary focus. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> all right. All right. I know some people probably enjoy that. That's, the problem is, the worst, the thing I hate most about that game is that I had only seen it played once, and that sounded cool, and I asked Bernadette for it, and she got it for me for Christmas. You know what? And it just, because I... I ended up not liking that game as much as I thought I would. Here's a new fucking rule. Uh huh. All you people in chat that are saying, how come we didn't say this? How about you don't say one thing in chat, you say six things in chat or whatever the fuck, or shut up. And they can't you know be any I mean? of the ones that we named. Yeah, you, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> like, if you're going to spam chat, do what Nolan has to do and say six of them. Yeah. Otherwise, if, you ain't shit. And then if I you said fail, it, you get you banned. You ain't Shit. Without Googling. You have to submit your Google search history. Yes. <laughs> you have to stream yourself yeah. picking it up. All right. Uh, now now it's time uh, to, to wrap up the show with the four-player minute. Four-player minute. Brad, Woo. do you want to start us off? Uh, sure. My hype for this week is a game that is coming out in June, getting localized, uh, called Grand Knight Kingdom. It is a strategy RPG of sorts by... Uh, uh, former Vanillaware uh, people, uh, and it looks really cool. I mean, it, it kind of has that look to it, like Odin Sphere or whatever. Um, but it is a kind of a strategy RPG. I'm pretty psyched about it. I think it's out in Japan now. Um, a game that I'm also excited about. I'm another hype. Is that Odin Sphere reboot? I think that looks really cool. I have a third hype. It's Mountain Blade Two. Mountain Blade Two is going to be like my No Man's Sky. I want that game to come out. I'm going to say it every time. And my fourth hype is No Man's Sky. I'm more hyped than Crispy, and I just want to say that now. What? That's debatable. And yeah. MGS, we didn't say chat has Wait. to name six things. We said each person has to name six things. Are you, you chat is a fucking a, 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 amalgamation of people. It is a group. Fifteen people each coming up with one thing is easy. One person coming up with fifteen things is not easy. Fuck oh, yourself. Did you just waste Lord? your hype just to, like, spite me? Yeah. that's. Just, did, did you know what yeah, did you game? just come at me, bro? Did you know what game got kind of, not really announced, but someone found proof that they're working on it? The Shadow of Mordor. Shadows of Mordor. Oh, yeah. I was going to bring that up in the news, but you, why no didn't shot me down? No, I didn't shoot you down. I just said I didn't want to talk down. about it. No, Personally. I was, there's not much to you say You launched the community as I was trying to say it. Oh, well, you were too late. Say it now. 
I'm you already say, said it. I'm going to say that's a hype, because that first game was pretty good. Yeah. It was good. Uh, there's it was potential. Pretty good. It, it had good mm-hmm. things, and if they yeah. fix some of the issues that, yeah, that were will. present in that, good. I, could, I could see it. it I could see good. myself enjoying a sequel. Maybe finally people won't come back to life that you've killed. Yeah. Dude, that yeah, was kind of cool. It, it was cool the first time when it happened, back, but then injured, when it happened 30 times yeah. afterwards. You cut their head off and yeah. they came back. Yeah, that's yeah. a little weird. Uh, all right, uh, I'll go. Uh, my hype um, is for uh, Uncharted. Dude, like, I'm just for some reason getting so excited for that game. Even though, like, you know, Dark Souls 3 is coming out before it and stuff, like, the more I see of it, like... The, it, it, you know, I kind of was messing around with the the Nathan Drake collection. I'm really excited for four. Like oh, I'm yeah. really they they the Naughty Dog released some like the making of videos. I only watched one of them, uh, but man, I'm excited for that game. Oh yeah. Uh, my my sweat goes to uh, fucking Naruto. Naruto. <laughs> it's one of those things where I, right, I finished. I finished like I finished House of Cards, the most recent season. Yeah, this is very similar to that. And it's, it's one of those <laughs> things where I always watch one show, uh, like kind of binge watch a show. Dude, you can't do that here. There's like 900 episodes. Well, I don't plan. That's everyone told me <laughs> you don't have to watch that. Yeah, many. just watch the first 120. You're yeah, done. that's what everyone told me. And then stop. I definitely have the willpower to stop. No, but that setup is for Shippuden, which is like where it, it really gets good. Oh my god. Okay. Anyway. No, you don't need. You don't uh, need that's Shippuden. That's why this is my sweat. Yeah, you, do. you don't need Shippuden. Yeah, you do. uh, all right. Uh, my uh, my thank you this week. Um, oh my god. The, uh, Goes to me. No, it doesn't. Just, why would it go to you? I don't know. You're not thankful for anything. Not that I've from done. you. What have you know. done? I don't know. I was... Go on, Brett. I don't Go know. on. I was thought maybe you could come up with something. <laughs> if you can't, why? How could I? Well, I mean, I'm I'm modest. <laughs> <laughs> Brett's such a funny guy, isn't he? And you're uh, thankful for that. All right. Uh, my 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 thank uh, goes to uh, to Bernadette. Uh, for for making these uh, gift baskets oh, for yeah. y'all. Yeah, it was very nice for her. Uh, she's she's a very thoughtful person when it comes to people who aren't me. Um, so that's, that's a joke. That was that was a joke. Uh, she's that not was a joke. <laughs> she's not watching now because she's working. Well, hopefully she's working. She might be listening. Uh, she's not. Uh, I mean, she could be, but she's not. Is she? She's, she's not. not. You know, she's not. Code pink. There's a code pink. You'll find out when you get home. Uh, <laughs> code pink is when, or is that a code blue? When they someone I think, steals. I think pink is when they steal it. When they steal a baby. Steal a baby. Code yeah. blue. No, oh. code pink is when code they steal pink a baby. Is when they steal a baby. Yeah. I think blue is like a surgery it emergency. All the time. No, it doesn't. No, code blue means the hospital's sinking in water, you <laughs> idiot. It's flooding. Uh, all right, uh, and then uh, my my fuck you this week. Oh. I don't want to say, like, I was talking to some people, I'm not going to name names about getting a code for uh, Dark Souls, mm-hmm. and, like, so apparently, like, Jaeger was telling me some guy, like, emailed somebody, and the next day they had a code, and so I emailed that guy, and then, like, three days later, I'm like, hey, what's going on? He's like, oh, we still are going through emails, and it's been, like, a week and a half now, <laughs> so, yeah. He's going to give you a code the day after the game comes out. I would not be surprised. <laughs> I would not be surprised. No, they saw that I've been casting it, and they decided we don't need a code. That's not how that works. I'm 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 99% positive PR people don't go around to every stream to find people. They have other things to do, and they have interns no, for that. They don't. Well, I, do they though? <laughs> Probably. All right. Was that it? That was it. Okay, cool. My hype this week is definitely for No Man's Sky, and I'm definitely more hyped than Brad is because Brad is incapable of feeling joy. That's true. My true. sweat this week is for, man, you know what? The future of the DC uh, film universe? <laughs> I mean, as far as like whether or not they're going to keep making them, no, I'm not worried because they're definitely going to keep quality, making them. More quality, quality. You know what though? Like in an odd way, Batman v Superman has given me some hope in that this definitely is like the floor. <laughs> like there's <laughs> it no can't way. get any worse. Oh, there's no my sweet summer child. Oh, shut child. the fuck up, Brad. Did you watch that movie? It's no, not even hasn't. a fucking movie. It can, he hasn't seen he it yet. Fantastic it. Four has proven that it can be You know worse. what? Fantastic Four, for all its faults, I bet still has a plot. I bet still has a through line. I challenge I bet you to... still has a fucking protagonist. 
I challenge you to watch Fantastic Four and tell me that it's a better movie than Batman vs. Superman. If it is, and you're honest with me, I'll buy you dinner. Okay. Now All right, let's move on movie. from that. Yeah, now I have to watch that fucking movie. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess more about being... Um, about their movies being good. Because they're definitely coming, one way or another. They're coming. Uh, All over but us. I hope, I, hope, I hope they're good. But, I mean, they, they should be good, right? Ben Affleck's going to direct the Batman movie. And, I mean, I don't know if anyone's been paying attention to his career in the last ten years, but it's been pretty great. So yeah, his his di- his directing like kind of what he does behind the scenes is often very good, and I will admit his Batman wasn't the worst I've seen. Dude, his Batman. Sorry, is, I will say his, his Batman's pretty his good. His Bruce Wayne, the worst I've seen. Him as Batman is good. What Batman was doing according to the script in that movie was fucking yes. atrocious. Yeah, but yes. that has absolutely nothing okay. to do with yes, his. I will agree with that point. He like, he played a good Batman. The script, absolutely nothing the script made a good Batman do dumb things. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. I agree with that. Okay. Um, oh, sorry. Hi, sweat. Uh, my thank you this week goes to everyone in chat who hung out with us on Saturday during Project M, and I hope you will come back this Friday or Saturday, whenever Nick and I coordinate something, uh, to uh, to, uh, to fin- wrap finish that up. it up. Yeah. yeah. Finish it up. Dude, there's. Did you guys see that movie? There is no way that anyone else will ever put out a movie worse than that. Everything, even if they're not great movies, will be better. So you've officially taken this that. Fantastic Four bet. Life finds a way. It. I'll okay. take it. It's you know, at Redbox, I think. So. I'm not watching it tonight, but I'll take the bet. Life you, finds a way. You have to give way. me time. You have to record I'm in the a commentary movie, trip. But, like, <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I will. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, and my my fuck you for the week obviously goes to Zack Snyder. Obviously goes to Zack Snyder. That's you true. fucking crazy asshole! Stop fucking destroying everything. Do you hold Just it? Stop it! Did you see that? Stop it! Did you see that one panel where uh, Ben Affleck was talk, talking about the movie and saying no, how like, it was I too don't smart? Even what's going he was on. saying the movie was too smart for him. Dude, he's an actor. He's got a fucking... Zack Snyder... You knew know, Zack Snyder was a fuck-up when he went pretty much panel by panel in The Watchmen and still made a pretty lame version of it. Yeah. Okay, I mean, The Watchmen is like... That's a different An story. isolated case. Yeah. You, you can't... What else... Wh- what else can you do with that movie? Like, what else can you actually do All with right. The Watchmen? There's no winning. That's a no-win scenario. Chris Davis. But the Zack Snyderisms made it. Your four player minute. Not as good as yes. the sure. Fine. I, I shall begin my four player minute. My first type this week is for the division. Oh, God damn it. Because we're getting some updates pretty soon. <laughs> I've been watching glitch videos and just seeing where the game is I potentially said going. Videos. I was like, what? It sounds really exciting. All right. Okay. Uh, my second hype is for City Shrouded in Shadow. Because that's kind of a game I've always wanted to play. A disaster game featuring giant See, monsters. Chris Davis. What? I want you, like, when you say, I like the division, and my eyes glaze over, know that it's not about you and your weird tasting games. Because when you say, I'm excited for the city shrouded in shadows, whatever the fuck, I'm like, you know what? You're right, Chris Davis. We can agree you just sometimes like boring shit. And that is nothing against you. It, I'm just saying, you can also like cool things sometimes, and that's great. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, shut up, bro. I'm just saying I'm also hyped for that game. That's a nice backhanded compliment yeah, it is, there. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Um, my, uh, I guess my thank you this week goes to uh, Nick for being sick and letting me on the podcast so I could talk. You don't have an opinion. And my fuck you this week goes to the people who are already in chat that already think that because I'm playing Dark Souls on one, Dark Souls 3 and 1.0 that I'm not getting the true experience and that I suck. So, fuck Yeah, off. that's not going anywhere, Chris Davis. Yeah, no, I know. But I can tell him to fuck off anyway. Is yeah. Nick really sick? I want to see the receipts. Uh, actually, I, I did... The receipts from the sick store? Yeah, <laughs> I, I did just get a text. Uh, next condition worsened. The viewing will be next week. Uh, so thanks everyone uh, mm, for listening mm. uh, to the podcast this week. I hope you all had a good time. Uh, be sure to check out fourplayernetwork.com uh, and patreon.com slash fourplayer. Yep. Uh, where we have our patron, uh, Patreon. We, we need to get some new goals on there. 
Some new stretch. I've got some pretty good ideas. Some stretch try. goals. Why don't you guys pitch some milestones? I mean, y'all are the ones contributing, right? Yeah. Like, like, sometimes we don't always have the most brilliant ideas popping out all the time, popping out of our buttholes. You can guys can maybe give us some inspired ideas. Uh, honestly, ideas popping out of your buttholes is quite painful, so you can't do it very often. Something you'd fight for financially. Uh, so once again, guys, thanks, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Uh, we got some good stuff coming up in the, in the, in the weeks to come, especially, you know, the, the wrap up to, uh, mini project M. Uh, I got, I got a vlog in the works that top five coming from top here. five. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, hopefully my, my, my vlog doesn't take me as long as I think it's going to take me. <laughs> it's one of those projects I'm trying to work on that, uh, it's slow goings. Uh, what was that? All right. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. yeah. Bye. Goodbye.